son of a bitch must pay. Salutations, all my beloved Airborne Simmons, and what up, amazing sports fans? This is Giovanni Johnny Ritchie. And we are flipping tables. Let me get things wired up here. I figured I'd split the difference. Invite sent, William. <clears throat> um. Daylight savings. I figured I'd just split the difference of the stupidity. How's that audio? Invite is sent, right? Yeah, invite set. All right. I'll, t I'll, I'll test it here. Check test. Audio. Yeah. All right, we got it. Good. Laura, good to see you. All right, thanks. Right into topics, shall we not? All right, I sent it via G Spot mail, so it should be instantaneous. Uh, corruption. We'll begin with corruption. All right. Check test. Now, now I just got it. All right. Okay. You're in. Uh, five years ago, the University of Pennsylvania pays Mafioso Joe, whether he's lucid or not, Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Now, what a scam education is. What a scam education is. Why would, okay, what are they paying for? They're paying him for lectures that he'll give, I don't know, when he's reanimated. He's not given a single lecture at the University of Pennsylvania, but he gets a million dollars a year and continues. And this is why you have to go into debt. $60,000 for one year. I don't know what the tuition is for this. Ivy League, right, Ivy League. I, don't, I read somewhere, is somebody claiming University of Pennsylvania is Ivy League? For anybody, any visiting sports fans, I was good to see you. I'm going to bring on in just a second. For any visiting sports fans, University of Pennsylvania is a private institution supposedly founded by extreme Luciferian Hellfire Club Benjamin Franklin. Probably owned and run by the Jesuits from the beginning. The alumni of the University of Pennsylvania is mirror to any Jesuit institution. Shocking. To include our own Doc Holliday, I'm afraid. Doc Huckleberry. Except this was when he was in a previous life as the original Doc Huckleberry. Did you know that? I don't, I don't know if it was his dentist uh, uh, degree, but... Uh, Holiday went to the University of Pennsylvania. Probably part of the reason why there's so much hype and bullshit around the gunfight at the OK Corral. Millions of dollars. Why would they do that? Well, he's their puppet. That's why. All right. This is huge. Well, do I hit this while I'm at it? Before I bring Alex in and talk about this fantastic find that he has. Uh, 
I'm just blowing through, blowing through background noise, blowing through background noise. Can't find anybody that's that's doesn't aggravate me in in seconds. Glenn Greenwald, absolute machine cuck, homosexual Jew, married his partner, and heaven forbid, has adopted at least one child, probably more than one, I think two. So, 41,000 subs on Stumble. And I don't know that I can even stand him. He's, and here's another guy that I need to give the mic to, extended, my brother from another mother, with all his finds this week. Hey, how you doing, guys? Um, he's, he's basically the news version of, of uh, Jimmy Jor, a.k.a. Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Doorknob. And not surprisingly, Doorknob brings him on his show all the time. He is absolutely a machine cuck. And that's why Dore brings him on. He's a homosexual Jew who is um, um, gives just enough truth as clickbait, but keeps everybody firmly on the plantation. Right here, Biden versus Trump. Israel versus Palestine. On and on and on. All of the machine games that they play. I've barely done one video. This right here. Actually, he he actually gets this right. Where he complains about this latest stupidity of Biden promising to Uh, ban TikTok because it's Chinese communist intelligence. Meanwhile, and and I'm pretty sure I I heard Greenwald just say this. Meanwhile, everything else is U.S. intelligence. We want a full and complete monopoly. And ultimately above that, exactly like Pooty Poo said, two halves of the same brain. Why are we getting into this? Because ultimately, Jesuit-controlled Rome aggregates all this intelligence that is gathered. So it doesn't really matter. Chai comms, Limeys, Canadians, Romericans, it doesn't matter. It all goes to Rome. I don't know. I, I, I may give this. You know, every time I see him, I, the first thing I think about is, is how upsetting it is that a homosexual, a married homosexual has adopted children. So that in and of itself, I'm, I may not watch too many more of these vids. Oh, uh, let's see here. All right, let's get right into Alex. I just responded to your to your email and said that I desperately need full citation data on that news clip because you have a fantastic. Oh, you wrote me back. Good for you. All right, now newspapers.com. I'm, that's that's um, paywalled. I'm not going to be able to see that. Oh, I could see it. I'm not paying for it. But okay. it had the full article, and it had a text of the article, too, about how William King Hale was Roman Catholic, had a Roman Catholic funeral. All right, uh, you, you've yeah. watched this stupid movie. Give us a summary of it. it it's, uh, what is it, uh, full, Shirley Temple of the Full Moon? What is this stupid Scorsese movie? Yeah, it's called Killers of the Flower Moon. It's one of his worst movies, actually. Shirley Temple of the Full Moon was close. I, I had it close. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah, it was a terrible movie, but basically, if you understand Scorsese, like he either makes movies about the mafia or blasphemous movies about Christ, like he's about to make another movie about Jesus Christ. I'm not sure which 
what he's doing there, but it's, it could only be Jesuit, you know? So basically with Killers of the Flower Moon, it's about the Texas mafia and how they were messing with these Indians, taking their money and oil money. And so Robert De Niro's character is William King Hale, and he's portrayed in the movie as a Freemason who's running the whole thing. But they fail to mention that he's Roman Catholic. Like, I don't remember that at all watching it that he's catholic i know i know they had a big scene with him in a freemason lodge with dicaprio and uh so and don't forget pal ultimately this is just another um self-flagellation oh evil evil whites done so much harm and damaged those poor engines that's at play here. The divide and conquer, Jesuit divide and conquer. Exactly. That's probably the biggest aspect of that movie's propaganda is just, oh, the whites are evil. But then just looking deeper into it, uh, it's really about the Texas mafia. But Scorsese, he's actually part of the mafia. I believe he's a made man in the mafia. And they have this code called Omerta or Omission. In Italian, it's called Omerta, and they don't say certain things because it's just like the Freemasons. They have oaths, but they blame everything on the Freemasons, as you can see in that movie. I have a running, pardon me, I hope none of that came on the microphone. I have a running list. You're fantastic, brother. I'm, I'm so glad that we have you on the team. Thanks, Ben. And just one more thing to add with the Omerta thing in the mafia. I, I was looking at this mafia documentary and in the movie Gotti with John Travolta, they do a mafia initiation ritual where, where they prick your pinky finger and with blood, you spill this blood on a picture of a Catholic saint or Mary, and then you burden that picture of the saint or Mary, and then you're in the mafia. Where's that from? Um, That's... That's the initiation ritual that they say they do in their okay. movies. Do you, do you, have, a, do you have a source on that? Yeah. In my Twitter, I posted the documentary I found. I'm not sure. I'm bad about posting links, but I did post the video. I'll find the link, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, everything that you share. Critical that we have the full citation. Definitely. When I write my book, I'm going to be sure I get all those citations. In oh, there. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, is this the one you have pinned? Uh, it might be second one down. The pinned one's about the Jesuit Illuminati with Adam Weiss. Right, right, right. Yes, the yes. The, uh, the second one. Here, I'll share with the screen as well. Um, and I'll share your I'll share your hyperlink here. Oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah. For, fortunately, that does seem to be coming up for me as well. That's awesome. Uh, I'll share this as well. Great, great job. Fantastic. Uh, nice. Here's Alex's um, Johnny G. John Paul, invite sent, man. Uh, Jeff, good to see you. Laura, love you. And I'll retweet this right now. I've got to start retweeting your broadcast, but you you posted this on Twitter too, right? I I had some uh, Darnell jumping in. Hang on, just one second, pal. Uh, uh, Alex, finish your thought. Oh, nothing. I was just checking uh, if I should retweet the link you posted on Twitter to promote Sh this uh, stream. Sure, sure. Whatever, whatever you want. Yeah. So this is just the the documentary. Uh, get get more. Tommaso Buscetta reveals the secret initiation ceremony. Oh, brilliant. I'll have that too. But but now, so if I want to cite this, I desperately need all of the, da the data. What is this documentary? Um, so basically, even just the name of the documentary, uh, usually I can plug that into Internet Movie Database, IMDb, and get down all the, the, uh, the rest of the citation data. But you personally, as a journalist, also need to do the same thing. This is from... Documentary, blah, 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 done by blah, 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 po uh, um, appearing via the BBC, the British taxpayer on this date, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. I yeah. will I will archive that as well. But b even better, grab this citation data as soon as you can. 
Uh, Darnell, what, um, you're jumping in here, pal. Dr trust me, you're going to be on in just a second. Yeah, I was just mentioning JP said he'll be in chat. He's not at a quiet place. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Love you, John Paul. See you soon. Um, thank you. Thanks for rel relaying that. It's hard. Uh, I'm investigating this um, multi-streaming, and, and it really is difficult to make a decision on this. I don't I really don't know if it if it helps me. As shadow banned as we are, I really don't know if it's going to help me to be able to simulcast stream across Stumble and Fakebook and Twatter, Twitch and Twatter. I, I just don't know if it's worth all the trouble. And pay, I have to pay for that too. Um, yeah, I looked at that too, and it, it seemed kind of interesting, but like you said, being shadow banned and everything, they, you know, you know, uh, cost effective, you know, whatever you say about that, um, because uh, you don't want to get into that, pay all this money, and then all those sites shut you down. Right. It just may not be worth it. Right. I'll go right into my freaking desktop on it, but uh, live push. So I looked into this. You know what? As long as it's not showing my password, I guess it's okay to do this. Um, Odyssey and Rumble are not even listed. Oh, I thought they were. Oh, that's right. Facebook, YouTube. Twitter. Yeah, all of the thoroughly controlled. Right, yeah. You easily just press a button. All the thoroughly controlled, you just easily press a button. Here's the link mm -hmm. right there. Everybody's thoroughly controlled. Odyssey and, and, and Rumble aren't even listed. So could not find your app, publish. Anyway, this is just really obnoxiously complex, and I just don't know if it's worth all the fucking trouble. Pardon my language. Hawk is yeah, I don't even try with Facebook. I got rid of my Facebook a year ago because it's just, there's no point. Hey, listen, I had 2,500 followers on Mega Fake Book and another 500 on a public page. Gone overnight just because. Yeah, didn't I help you get on Facebook or one of yes, those? Yes, and when I tried to go back, these scum with their, with their eavesdropping said, oh, no, 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 we know who you are. We know you're not allowed to even come back and make a new account. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's that's pretty ridiculous. You know, YouTube jumped after me because I was using a song that's over 60 years old. And, and they gave me a copyright block on there. Any excuse. Any excuse. Anyway, let's let's finish this up yeah. with um, Fantastic Fine. And Wait, I'm sure just to add to that with the mafia initiation ritual where you prick your pinky and do the burning it on a Catholic uh, picture oh. that that's source material. That's hard to find. Like you only get it from people on the inside. And so you can only really get their names, but I can try to get the documentary, the guys in, but I got the guy's name in the documentary. So I'll try to look that guy's name up. Yeah. Didn't they do that? Something similar in silence. Where the, you know, you had to go step on a picture of Christ or something, you know. You know, it started off actually quite brilliantly. And I don't know how much it, it, it's adapted to the truth. It's exactly what I would have done. It started off forcing everyone to step on an icon of Mary. And that's exactly oh. what I would have done. I think it progressed onto stepping on or spitting on Christ. But um, if, if I were Japanese, it's exactly what I would have done to weed out the Catholics mm -hmm. without, but they, 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 that's not what they were thinking. They, no. It just so happened. That's exactly what I would have done is to assault Catholic ritual without assaulting Jesus Christ. It didn't stay there. Yeah. But. Like the ritual of spitting on, the cross and a picture even that's pro that's more related to the Knights Templar because that was part of their initiation ritual. Right. Which is, which is uh, derives from their, their Johannism, which is the heresy that John the Baptist was the, uh, the true Messiah and Jesus of Nazareth was a pretender. 
Which, yeah, among many, many other heresies, that's just one. Uh, let's see here. Hawkeye in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I called on the hawk. Just give me a second. We're going to do everybody. You know, you got you got nice color skin. You got nice color skin. All right. Uh, who, who we got? We got Scorsese, De Niro, DiCaprio. Do I take the time and show the uh, DiCaprio homosexual porn movie that put him on the map? Um, Please don't. Yeah, thank you. I just ate breakfast. All right. You know? All Italian Catholics, by the way. Yes. 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 Um, so as we flagellate ourselves, now let's go back to Alex's fantastic find. The lead protagonist, I believe we can say, right? William King Hale, American political crime boss, Osage County, Oklahoma, responsible for the Osage Indian murders, which he was later convicted. Made a fortune on cattle ranching. Oh, a fortune in the tradition of Jesuit Eusebio Kino. Raising and raising cattle for slaughter. Takes a special kind of demon to do that. Yeah, and isn't that why he murdered them for their land? When they they got rich on oil, that Osage nation. Oh, they had that. just a ton of oil, and that's what... Or all their money came from that. All right. And so Vadipedia says uh, Hale turned himself in wearing a perfectly pressed suit, shoes shined to a gleam, a felt hat, and an overcoat with his diamond-studded Masonic Lodge pin fastened to the lapel. Now, this, this clown died in 1962. He's as safe as it gets to out him. Yeah, uh, just go back to those dates. Sh- shares a birthday with uh, with the face of the the pandemic, uh, Anthony Jesuit Fauci, and uh, ends up having a death date on uh, 15 August. So <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte, the Queen of Heaven, and uh, Jesuit Order. That's why we call you the Hawk, Fauci. <laughs> Um, and then the fact that hail, wait, wait, stop, stop. I'm yeah, fucking yeah, sure, typing because sure. of you. Hail, death, date, uh, queen of heaven. And what was the other thing? Hawk, what was the other thing? I'm not sure what you, what, what have you, uh, a birthday shared with Elsie, death date, uh, the, yeah, the queen, feast queen of the queen, queen of heaven, of heaven. Nap- Napoleon Bonaparte is and, his uh, what? His death date? Birthday. Okay. And then, uh, and then the Jesuit order, the uh, the first seven took an oath, sworn oath on uh, to the Queen of Heaven on fifteen August, fifteen thirty four. Right, 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 right. Yep. Loyola oath date. All right, great. You, and you didn't steal my thunder for me. Good for you. Um, because this evil engine killing white Freemason was given his freedom on a very interesting day. This is it, right? Yeah. Paroled on Loyola's feast day in 1947. Love you, Hawk. Great job. Great job, how, Alex. How, 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 about the, how about the fact that you have the, the world premiere of the film itself, uh, 20 May 2023, so at Cannes, at the film festival. So 20 May, remember the... the uh, anniversary day of the um, 1521 cannonball moment that broke Loyola's Ignatius. <laughs> Are you kidding Loyola's me? Leg- How the fuck? No, fuck you. You looked that up. You're not pulling no. that out off the top of your head. There's no, no way you uh, pulled that off the top of your head. No, it's no. Yeah. And how about the Adolfo Nicholas? He, he Wait, wait, I'm typing this. All right. It, 20 May. Um, 1521. That's Loyola's cannonball moment. Remember, the Ganesian year began 2020, 2021, a year after Adolfo Nicholas died in 2020. Wow. So it's, we've got a Listen, lot of... Listen, man, uh, we, this, this, this shows 
yeah. uh, a combination of metabolism and love. This the the Roman machine loves this demon. The Roman machine loves this demon. All right, uh, t- Canon film cans film release. Yeah, the world, so the, the film had its world premiere 20 May 2023 at the Cannes Film Festival on, Fr- on France. Cannibal you, 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 date. Yeah, you, you can easily look, look that up. But what, but it, here we go, though, back to the, a Sansun drumbeat, the, the death the anniversary, Adolfo Nicholas, 30th Jesuit Superior General, 20 May 2020. All right, wait, 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 give me that again. Sure, sure. 20, 20 May is also the, the death date anniversary. Or sorry, the death the death date, which is but twenty May now is the, the death anniversary of uh twenty or thirtieth Jesuit Superior General Adolfo Nicholas. Remember remember him being confronted? was it we are I don't know if uh, JP had the we are changed the the fourth vow. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Cannonball. <laughs> Cannonball. Okay. But remember the Ignatian year. That, that, here's the, which is the joke. Big, big effing joke, which which began a year later, a, a year after Adolfo Nicholas got the. Well, it's his given death date. Did he get the? Did he get the? The glory, the glorious uh, pillow. Right. Right. River, good for, drum, right. Right. Good for you. you. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, listen, we're, we're coming up. He's looking bad. He's looking the worst for wear. We got to make sure we take him out. Uh, hang on. We got to. We got to make sure we uh, stay in your club. Stay. Hello, friends. <laughs> you did that bad. Stay in your own club. Um, did you check out the? Uh, did you brought up the death date? His death date, August fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, we're, yes. we're yeah. I'm sorry, I must have missed that. Sorry. And the thing, the thing is, too, with Scor- Scorsese films. Yeah, there we go. This is awesome. Look at down in the bot, the bottom corner. Look at all who are involved it, that are that are on the the show. Look at that. You got. Uh, are you looking the at the Vatipedia? Let me let me share no, it with you. We're, we're looking at your gif. That the true insurgency. You got me. You got George, Doc, Eric, Triple Seven. What, no, the, that, where are you getting that, your info from when, when you're remarking on the movie? Oh, sorry, no. I, I was I was just commenting on the the git the uh, the gif file you were sharing. The <laughs> oh, GIF, oh, okay, the, okay, wait, 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 okay. <laughs> How appropriate! Wait, wait, this has got to be like a, you know, 2017. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's tw- pretty. It's I, pretty. I, I think that's 20. I think that was a 2018. If I remember right, the, those that was a 2018 time. Yeah. And they were all avatars back then. That was back when nobody had cameras or something. Um, <laughs> all right, Danny's in the house. Good to see you, pal. Uh, we have. The, I, I have. I have covered a half a topic, and all these guys on the panel have tremendous contributions. I'm not going to get through anything, but that's okay. It's going to be a diamond show, as, as always. Um, I, but I, but I think the the point though the the je, the the Jesuit fingerprints all over Scorsese, like date, dates alone, actors, uh, characters. Like clearly, this is a guy you know, supposedly an apostate Catholic. His Catholicism means nothing to him. That, I no, don't know. I think I don't. I don't know if he's a, a apostate because he's. I'm saying that tongue that, in cheek. He is promoted sure. as an apostate Catholic, and he is an absolute fire hose of Jesuit propaganda, constant, I think, nonstop. I think. Yeah, I think well, he went I, to a seminary as a kid, and then he does a oh, bunch of interviews. Totally with controlled, James totally Martin. controlled from beginning to finish. Even if it's half true, even if it's half true, what we've been saying all along is, you know, there, there's no, there's no such thing as an ex-Catholic unless something more powerful than Catholicism takes over. For me personally, or an ex-Jesuit. That's being a, that yeah right right for me personally yeah like like uh, Malachi Martin supposedly an ex Jesuit but remained a Catholic priest for rest of his life get out of here. Um, Scorsese met the Pope a couple of times didn't he meet I know he met Francis and recently right recently yeah and There's recently a picture that came out. a Hawkeye yeah, finisher they premiered um, Silence in a Jesuit movie theater at the Vatican what a surprise yeah. 
Yeah, I was. I was that's. I was actually just trying, looking that up for a citation um, about that. I thought you were going to say great, I was there. Point. That would have been great. <laughs> yeah, great point. Great point, Knox. Uh, finish. Finish your thought, uh, Hawkeye. No, that I was going to say the exact okay. same thing. Okay. I, I think there was a the private screening of silence, and I'm not just trying to find the date. Uh, as a quick recap for any visiting sports fans. Silence picks up, and, and, and Alex is, I'm sure, got all of this. Silence picks up exactly at the worst possible point or best point for misinformation in Japan. The Jesuits show up. They're welcomed as innocent. Who is it? Somebody in the chat made me going to make me go here. All right. Uh, quick clip. You guys are not going to see this. Ooh, uh, and you take your Walmart card. No! You're Christian. No! <laughs> no, please don't. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, it happens too quick to really share with you guys. All right, uh, Bill, quick. Your, Muted. Your water, the, mo the watermark is on Clint's face. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, great, great job. Great. Off. Oh, thank you. Just... Can we go back Actually, to it was somebody in the chat that brought it to Okay, no, appreciate it. Preach the, pre the relay. Now, let me finish my thought, and then, and then Hawkeye. Scorsese, like a Jesuit, picks up right where the Catholic Church welcome and, and uh, Clavel's shogun brings a lot of this out, even though he was a machine cuck as well. The Jesuit domination of the East Indies and of Asia. Telling Spain and Portugal, you own Japan. You own the Philippines. You own China. And you own that. But you pay us, right? Here's the document, okay? Um, they were found out to be exactly what they are. A military insurgency. When they were found out, they were kicked out. And guess what they did? Went underground. They were found to have gone underground. That's when they were rounded up, tortured, and killed. And that's when Scorsese picks up. And repeatedly paints them as innocent Christian. Spreading the gospel. No, they were a military insurgency. Conducting espionage. On behalf of Europe and the Vatican told to get the F out of here and refused to and went underground, continued their insurgency. What do you expect the Japanese to do? And I'm not an apologist for the Japanese. They were very brutal. But... Yeah, and the Jesuits, they came at just the worst time because the Japanese were getting out of like a centuries-old civil war called the Sengoku period where just all these feudal samurai lords were fighting each other for Japan. And then Japan was just united under the Tokugawa shogun, Tokugawa Ieyasu, uh, right as the Jesuits were trying to overthrow them, right as Japan was united as a people. So they weren't, it just was bad timing for the Jesuits that Japan was not going to be broken up. Scorsese, a, 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 just an absolute Jesuit propagandist. Uh, Hawkeye, finish your thought. Uh, he, 2016 meeting with Pope Francis on 30. 30 November it just happens to be the where is it? So the birthday of Peter Peter John Kovenbach. So again, just another just another imagine meeting the Jesuit Pope on a on a on a on a on a dead on a dead on, on a dead Jesuit birthday. He Kovenbach would have died. Well, what was it? Shit. Uh, he would have died 26 November 20. Okay, how about this? The fact that uh, four days after his essentially his his, uh, his death day, so meeting with the Jesuit Pope Francis. So uh, back to fingerprints, drum beats, good old pro good old propaganda. And Absolutely. I also want to add though too that it's come up before. We mentioned um, what's it called, Blue Eye Samurai. I don't know if you call it anime, uh, traditional anime. Uh, this, ser this series or serial on on, on Netflix that uh, that o that literally opens it the, with the in the exact same uh, I think it, the the captions state it's like 1633 ish. It's another woman can kick your ass, stupid, which combines all this. So who is pushing 
the vomit, the far left, race swapping, gender swapping, stupid, out of Hollywood, out of Dizshi. It's wrong. But they, and they don't, but they don't. What they don't state the re, the re, they state that Japan has c literally closed its borders, set up walls. There's no outside. There's no outside. Uh, Caucasian allowed in, but they don't state why. It, it, which so right, back to right, the right. Oh, oh, beginning of the series For was survival. Right. Um, all right. Let me let me finish. Make sure this is all done. Yep. Great. Yeah. The job. only people in Japan were the Dutch because the Dutch actually warned the Shogun about the Jesuits, and they made at Will the Adams time. A and, and, and this Clavel did this well. Did a good job. The um, the name of Blackthorn's vessel was a Dutch vessel named the Erasmus with a British pilot navigating it. Now, Clavel was, was an insider machine cuck himself. He did not, uh, as a matter of fact, as is typical, too bad George isn't here, the most devout Christian on board was a typical asshole, uh, a, a, a typical Bible thumping, annoying. You wanted them to die. Surprise, surprise, as is always the case. But if you're if your eyes are open, Shogun is is worth looking at as you parse through the bullshit. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Shirley Temple on the full moon, Wh whatever the name of that fucking we, we fish. That's the name of the show today, Bill. Shirley Temple on the full moon. Um, did we did we finish this off? We'll go to the next. The killers of the Freemason flower moon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got him both, pal. Great job, uh, fantastic job. I'm gonna have to resubscribe to that newspapers.com. I wasn't using it for 18 months, and then out of the blue, I've gotten multiple hits on it. Um, I'm going to resubscribe, start paying for it again, and again, not use it. Okay, let me make sure we've picked that one clean, and then we'll jump to the next topic. Let me check the chat. Guys, continue to help me with the chat. John Paul in the chat. Oh, I love you. I love you, Lauren. Dr. Fate in the chat, in the house. Johnny G, Jeff, Laura. Okay. Um, thank you. Hawk, I love you, pal. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. Is that... Okay, cropped. I will find it. I will get that fucking Dolan picture, uh, and I will find a way to avoid that... Fuck, what a surprise, surprise. Getting no, I, watermark. I sent, I, I sent both. The one with the watermark, one yeah, without... Yeah, it's, it's just cropped. It's, the one without the watermark is cropped. I'll get the full fucking picture without the watermark. I promise you there's a way to do it, and I will do it. But great job. Uh, fantastic job of getting the full citation data of Dolan. Uh, here, I'll pull this up. Apparently bragging, either representing the Jesuits or bragging that he is a Jesuit when that's not in his resume. And apparently that was the first, because I haven't found, even the dates, the dates don't, so the Irish, what is it, the Irish something? Irish not, Central, Irish, Irish Central is the, the, the shit rag paper? That used it because it doesn't look like anybody else licensed that image, but that... Oh, but Getty scarfed it up. Even that, better. That, even better. Unlicensed and Getty stole it. So that, when, after yeah. the revolution, after the revolution, Lord Protector Johnny will go into all these scumbag vaults and give it all away. Alamy, Getty, uh, uh, Shutterstock, all these fucks. That was apparently the first mass after the, the uh, open to the open to the public during the 2020 sh shutdown. So that at the end of June, June 28 ish, I think it was 2020. It's crazy to think. Almost four, 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 yeah. four, four, four yeah, well, pretty much it, the, the, the anniversary date, oh, March 11 tomorrow. It is crazy to think. That's right. Four March years. 11 coming up. Four, March 11 coming years. up. Um, it is crazy to think because there are still morons and fucktards masking up. Uh, I, I told you about, was it Friday? A couple of days ago. She looked like a, a complete 
granola far left fucktard with a beautiful little boy with a mask on. I, all like I was so angry I could I couldn't get the words out. I could just burn my eyes into her, and she scurried off before I could get something out because I was gonna fucking blast her. Um. All right. Yeah, hey. and, then, and, and then you get a uh, Bill. Bill, Bill next. Finish Hawkeye and then Bill. Oh no, no! I was just making a joke about it. Go ahead. Uh, God, God, yeah, send me, me that more, asshole. Send me that image of Timothy Dolan because the one I got has Getty images on. I got it, pal. Uh, let me let me go ahead and and see what I can work by. See if I can work my magic on on getting the full image without the watermark. Yeah. Okay. Right. How about just pointing out that the fact that the IHS it's it doesn't look like a consistent. Uh, let me let me do this it. right now, Bill. I'm gonna do this right now, so that you can use it for the thumbnail. But I'll also, I'll also get a better one for you. All right, yes, uh, and it's not clearly evident. It's it's a you know a weirdo H in there. You know, okay, what wait, what is that? You re oh, and it's in the middle of a sunburst. Just in case you you miss that. It's in the, the middle, middle of, of a Gnostic oh, 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 on, on top of his pot belly. Right, right, fat, right. Fat, fat really fuck. lovely. I don't know how you you sodomize little boys with a with a with their gut sticking out. He'll find a way, I'm sure. Uh, and and also, it's a an artistic Maltese cross sunburst. You see that? Here, have I shared it with you guys on the screen on the audience? Let me do this one more time. I'm pretty sure I have this up for you. You know, guys, uh, the only, that's the reason why a lot of these priests wear those black dresses, and black robes, you know, easier yeah. to hide the kids. Hey, in easier serious, but yeah, let, let me tell you, in seriousness, um, these demons regularly traumatize, torture, and violate little boys with crucifixes, implements of uh, the Catholic Church in their best possible effort to damn these children to, to, to have these children associate Jesus Christ go back the, to the go back to the the cardinal uh, so, hang on pal I, I was um, yeah. I'm navigating to show as Bill was talking about okay. uh, hiding little children. Here's the St. Patrick's Day Parade where they welcomed. Here we go. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. Isn't there one with the kid where the, where there's a boy who's like, get the get away from me? Or is that somebody? This is the, okay. We got a fag shake with the married homosexual, whatever, Teo Sock or whatever. The married <laughs> homosexual prime minister of Ireland. And again, constantly, <laughs> and just just having loving life. Every every other picture with this demon, he's just loving life. Uh, you've got this piece of shit, this supposed uh, uh, reptilian, corrupt Catholic king, and, uh, Kumo, son the, of Kumo, brother of Kumo. Don't forget with the uh, the barbell the barbells uh, through his nipples. No, that's good. That's Kumo. Yeah, you're gonna make me do that. Right, <laughs> barbells, <laughs> bang barbells around his neck. That creep. Yeah, that's where they should be. Uh, all right, so uh, Hawk wants me to go back to the. Uh... Yeah, just with the, the fleur de lis on the on on above and below the eye chest, the, pen, the, the 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 penetration symbolism of the fleur de lis. Oh, good for you. Sure, yeah, yeah. Which you can find with the the Osirian cap. Yeah. Well, of course, and, and right, right, the, right. the miter cap as well. Yeah. Right, upside down, right side up. Yeah, yeah. The fleur de lis, which is gnostic, you that, sexual. You want, you want, you want to hit IHS again? I, I, Isis Horus. Sure, uh, IHS. So many people, not many, uh, the few people that talk about this, misstate this. As Isis Horus set, and that's not accurate. They don't know what they're talking about, especially in relation to Egyptian mythology. I think that's a, the classic 
regurgitation of programming and, and parroting. Yes. Oh, that's, that's S all must be Set. That's all it is. Set's evil. Set because we've is heard it. We've been told it. And that's Horace's what we've been taught. uncle. Set is Horace's uncle. His father is Osiris. Um, and in the Egyptian myth, the Egyptian myth spins the Hebrew myth. Uh, whereas Shem punishes Nimrod um, by executing him and chopping him up. And the Egyptian myth spins it and says that poor uh, uh, Osiris is murdered by his evil brother Set. And he's chopped up. Uh, and, and the... You know what's amazing? The um, in the the book of Joshua, I can't remember the verse, but uh, states or it's, it, that it's actually Esau that behead, beheads Nimrod. Esau being red and hairy, and Set just happens to always be, and and Esau being of the line of Shem as well, which is fascinating. That doesn't necessarily get discussed Shem. often I said that at wrong. all. Shem, thank you. Um, yeah, and then uh, Set is portrayed. As it, 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 as a red figure, which is also fascinating too. So there's there's something going on there, but the fact that well that, Shem, that Shem did, if whether it was Shem or of the line of Shem, he's, a he's brilliant saw. insight. Yeah, and, and the, the by, by the of course uh, Jasher's apocryphal. Um, so I, IHS. Is, uh, 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 one more. Uh, let me just get this out, pal. Uh, IHS actually stands for Isis Horus Serapis. Serapis is an amalgam of Osiris and Apollo. Okay, so we have some sort of... Oh, and I just re-watched, surprise, surprise, Rome flicks. Yet another iteration of Greek myth, the legend of Hercules. Um, by the way, you always know that this is a Roman spin because Hercules is not Hercules. Hercules is Heracles. Am I spa saying that right? Heracles, the, yeah. The, the Greek Heracles. The Roman spin on the Greek myth is Hercules. Um, and on how um, Hercules, again, we have this God raping women, creating demigods, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, okay, I Isis, Horus, Serapis is what AHS. It is the Gnostic Trinity. Isis, Horus, Serapis. And and the fact that right now we're in the days that well, Horus Tammuz. We're literally in the forty days of weeping for Tammuz or, or Lent, as uh, as is a so called Christian forty days of uh, whatever. This but guy makes the, my this guy makes my fucking head spin. The time How, of, uh, I just want to respond real quick to the good Iyasu thing. The uh, the thing is, Iyasu came way after Nimrod, so that's where the timeline is a little iffy there. Yeah, we're not. Well, I'm. I'm not seeking to bridge the two. I'm not seeking to bridge the two. Um, brilliant that Lent is weeping for holy fuck. Uh, Every time I bring this and, fucking and, guy on, and, he and drops a grenade a like it's nothing. <laughs> No, well, okay, but it, it, I, to me, it, this is common. <laughs> I know. I'm, you're an idiot if you don't see this. I'm saying this out of love. I, I, the dear, dear, dear friend who's been with me forever so I can bust his balls because he's sharp as a fucking tack. Um, hey, but right. I, I, still, I still miss metadata. I, you broke my That's okay. <laughs> you fixed it like that. You fixed it like that. Uh, da Danny, you trying to jump in? I was well. I was also gonna because you were mentioning the outfit that uh, Dolan was wearing, and there's actually one of the Pope wearing something with Atacama the Giant on it. Um, there's actually they took a picture of it, and it's like a photograph of his outfit with Atacama the Giant, which is a pagan deity. And I was also thinking, is there something to the IHS also into in hoc, uh, in hoc signo, in hoc signo vinces, IHS? Yeah, that's their. That's that's their. But that would all because it means con so in this sign. Okay, oh, good, good, good for you. You're you're talking about uh, Constantine. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good for you. I'll connect yeah. those dots. Absolutely. Because it's also the symbol of like the Knights Templar for the in Freemason Knights Templars in Hawk Signal Ventures, which puts IHS right on their logo. I'm happy to make that connection. Good for you. Uh, and I think the Knights Templar is also partially founded by a Catholic, uh, an archbishop, Fenelon, I believe, was involved in it. So. Sure. A friend, uh, uh, do we call a friend of the channel, Geometry Effect 20, uh, 25, uh, or Geometry News Effect 25, Zach, Zachary K. Hubbard. What does he, he will say IHS is then is, uh, what's the name of Jesus Hominem Salvatore? Sal I, I don't want to get it wrong. The, but, um, but the, the but Jesuits in history. Oh, sorry. Good. good. Uh, so, hey, you have an answer for that? Yeah, I'm just, I know Hector McPherson in the Jesuits in history. His book called The Jesuits in History. He has what he figured the meaning is. So I'm just trying to look it up right now because I have that but, book in front of me. But it's so. amazing this this multi layered meaning. So what's pre again pre what's presented for the public? There's the one direction, and then there's so the, there's the white, and then the black. What it really means. And, and if you flip it. it upside down, it looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what they are. Oh, oh, we did years ago. Years ago, we did shows on their obsession with sodomy. I remember uh, Nicholas Dan Goodian uh, pointed that, pointed, which was brilliant. What, what, the anus. What were you guys? Um, what, what, what was what was Ragnarok? Is it Satan, Satan's anus? Satan's ass? Right, 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 right. Anus. <laughs> right. But but Nicholas point, pointing out about the the shit, the, the the sense of humor, Yahweh's sense of humor as well. That right. the society, the society of Jesus, actually is. Turn it upside down, and that, that it's what's revealed. It's sh it's shit. Right, right, it's right. shit. Right. I found it. I found the um, what Hector McPherson said it was in page six. Uh, the Jesuits in history, uh, as uh, read it as they, at last rose up on their knees, Ignatius Loyola marked upon the altar three large capital letters, I H S. What do they signify? Demanded the others. They signify. Answered Ignatius. Jesus hominem salvator, Jesus the savior of mankind. Yeah, that's their and story. And they shall henceforth be the motto of our institution. Yeah, they can uh, they can suck a big ding ding with that bullshit story. Yeah, cl clearly, clearly judge, judging a tree by its fruit. Hey, listen, you listen uh, to uh, hang on, uh, uh, Alex, there in uh, New Zealand, I got you, pal. I'm sorry for not acknowledging you, uh, Danny. You're next. Never forget what Hawkeye has pointed out. Their original oath date in Paris was on 15 August to commemorate the Queen of Heaven and their name. They were the Knights of the Virgin Mary. All of that was changed. I don't know if it's Farnese changed it, but when they were consecrated on September 27th in 15... 40, right? That's when they suddenly became the Society of Jesus. Okay, Danny, what else? Oh, I was just going to say, I had seen an old, because Serapis is uh, the god of, of silence, of, of am I correct? The god of like secrets, quiet, silent, you know? And I had that. seen... So I believe that I had seen an old Masonic coin, a post-1717 that had a depiction of Serapis on it. I'm just trying to find it, but it was an old, it was an old coin. I actually think I saw it in like another, like a Masonic forum. Like I didn't like see it in like something that, but uh, I'm just trying to see if I could find it. But yeah, I was just going to mention that. Good for you. Thank you. I'll, I'll pull this up. Uh, Alex, and we, we need to have a different name for you, New Zealand Alex. Oh, no, Mr. Alex, we have a name for you. Mr. Alex versus Ninja Alex. All right, Mr. Alex, how you doing? Jack Tess, you're muted. Mr. Alex, how are you? Hello. Hello, Johnny. Sorry. Yeah, I just woke up. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay, pal. Just checking in with you. Uh, and you gonna you want to wait or you do you, anything you want to jump in with now? I can't wait. Okay, um, pal. Because... I got at least two topics to cover. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Let's let's go ahead with one of them while I wind up for Darnell. Darnell, put your fucking homework together, pal. You got like a, 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 a show and a half of shit to cover. I'm ready to roll. All right. Go ahead, Alex. Hit me with one of your two topics. Okay. Um, recently, I was looking into how prohibition began in the U.S. The 
the conservatives and the progressives want to portray that it started in 1937. But when I had a look into Douglas Willinger's blog, Freedom of Medicine and Diet, Prohibition actually began in 1906 with the passage. Wait, remind me, pal. The, uh, pro prohibition in the U.S. Yes. Okay. Um, Start, started with the passage of. Keep going. It started with the passage of the Pure Food and Drug Act in 1906. In that same year, it led to the creation of the Food and Drug Association. Oh, that's good. So. The FDA was an outcropping of prohibition. The FDA was, yes. was created as an as a thug arm of the government. Do you have any uh, sources, citations on that? Yes, I do. Just hang on. I need to go get my grab out. Just hang on. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good stuff. Nice. Just I just on. wanted to add to that, Alex, that. I was looking at that too and about how the mafia was basically created out of prohibition where the black market was monopolized by the Jesuits. Outstanding. Outstanding Ninja Alex. Good good follow up. Um, Danny, if you find that, if I type in Serapis God of Secrecy and not a lot comes up, so get me that citation. Yeah, when... let me see if I can find it. Maybe I'd be You'll have to get it right now. All right, thanks, Mr. Alex. I've got your gab post on that. More homework for me. Happy fucking day. All right. Um, Darnell, just... Oh, wow. Man, got, you, got, you got something, Danny? It was Harpocrates. That's who it was. All now, right. I, I mixed up Serapis and Harpocrates. That's okay. Uh, any... God of silence... Oh, that's yo! Look at that with the freaking finger over his lips, just just like um, uh, Saint John Nepomuk, the statue that that greets everyone at Bohemian Grove. Harp, oh crap! Here, I'll share it with you. Look, yeah, I found one there. from uh, 1913, also from France, from the Grand Lodge National de France. Yeah, that's yeah. So it was Harpocrates. Because it's Isis, Harpocrates, Serapis, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> really? So Harpocrates replaces Horus. Okay, do you have an example of that? Is that is that a thing? Yeah, uh, I have um, a token, a Freemasonic token from the Grand Large National of France that has what appears to be Harpocrates on it from 1913. Yeah, he's got he's got covering his mouth. It's actually on Reddit. Someone posted on Reddit Freemasonry. Oh, I need that. That's that's not coming up anywhere. That would be. Hold on. I'll send huge. it to you right now in an email. I'll send it to you right now. Because in an email. what that does is, at least with the Isis, Horus, Osiris, pseudo Trinity, at least it's somewhat messianic. Isis, Harpocrates. Serapis is nowhere touching the gospel in any way, shape, or form. It's just purely, purely fabricated demonism. Send that to me when you get it. I got it. But I, I would, I would not replace it, but it's syncretistic. Remember, gen, gen, so the, the source, it all goes back to Babylon, of course, and then the, which goes back through the flood to the other side. Remember, the, we, we, I have to credit Chuck Missler, the, 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 five, the Genesis 5, the first 10 names. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of listen. That guy kept me mesmerized for many years with with his Jesuit half truths. And, um, and while while we're at well, you mentioned John and Epimuch, you I caught somewhere you had mentioned March 20 being a particular date. We just acknowledging John and Epimuch. So his given death date is March 20th, 1393. Yes. What did I say? Something happened on 18 March. Something else happened on 20 March. I That's in my you, notes. Yep. Yeah, you had said something, I think, in the... the... Right. I, I can't recall. Let me let me go ahead yep. and wind up for sure. uh, Jesus Saved Darnell. So just an overview. Wow. Okay. What's Alex got here? Okay. Oh. 
may I also add um the the person known as Harvey Washington Wiley, he, um, he actually also worked for Papers William Hearst as well. Yeah, outstanding. It's right there in the Vatipedia. FDA came out as the thug strong arm. Let's see here. Is it in here? Prohibition. Good for you. I sent you two things, Johnny. Okay, pal. Uh, email? How'd you say? Yeah. yeah. Go uh, ahead. Email. Okay, perfect. 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 Email is best because I don't have to stop the show and address it. I can add it to my endless list of homework. Yeah. There's actually something straight from the Museum of Freemasonry. Okay. Well done. Fantastic. Wow. That is huge because I, I don't have access to those easy access. Of course, the internet's not going to allow me to co come up with that. Um, I'm going to have to store all this stuff. Great job, Mr. Alex. Uh, all right. So also, all right, let me wind up. Jesus saved Darnell. Just an absolute amazing series of uh, a bit of research. Is it possible that some of the biggest events, the biggest watershed civil rights events were scripted beforehand? Go Darnell. All right. So I guess we'll start with that. And uh, hi to everyone. Sorry I wasn't uh, able to make it last week. We'll start with Rosa Parks because that's a... Um, that even for me was like a wow when I was researching that. But I looked into her and found that she was an Eastern Star female Freemason. She was not an honorary Eastern Star. She was an Eastern Star since the 1940s, way before. January 1st, whole... 1946. Yeah. Yeah. Way before the whole bus situation. Way before the whole NAACP situation. And I. Um, I can put in the chat the information that shows her ties to the Eastern Star. Hey, right here, so, pal, I've got yeah. it. The Vatipedia. Okay. Vatipedia yeah. validates this. So as I've shared, not to, not to, you're, you're, you're going. We, you barely even got started. Let me share it on the screen. This is critical. There is a big difference between hijacking someone of prominence and then turning them into a Freemason versus taking a Freemason and fabricating their prominence. A huge difference. And that happened and it's being sourced, cited by none other than Vatipedia. Probably because ultimately this black, this race issue is a distraction issue and everyone involved, Rosa Parks, all blacks, you're all sacrificial. All of it. Just like we were talking about uh, Eric Adams, uh, Caban, and um, Madre. Madre. Thank you. Madre. The triage of, of non-whites running New York City, all outed by the papal pr prostitutes as being Freemasons. Vatipedia. January 1st, 1946, Rosa Parks, a member of the Order of the Eastern Star cited. And the famous bus ride, December 1955. A decade, a full decade. A full decade. Is there a date for Go the bus, the bus is there a date for the bus incident? Yeah, December first might not be in Vatty P. Let's see here. The it's image right says, on the graphic, December first, nineteen fifty-five. Yep, but, December first, nineteen fifty-five, right in the um, opening second paragraph. This is so important to get, guys, as researchers. When you have someone in Freemasonry, you get the citation. What lodge, where, and when. And as I said to um, adorable channel name that, that uh, Darnell found, uh, Council of Nice Ears, cute. 
uh, great, great guy, great values, sloppy journalism. As I told him, that's so important. Another example is James Jimmy Doolittle, a Freemason, long before his terrorism raid where he indiscriminately bombed Japanese civilians as a response to World War II. Another example of how Freemasonry created history as opposed to hijacked history. Uh, O'Neill, Shaquille O'Neill, whose parents need to be kangaroo kicked in the ding-ding in the ovaries. Oh, but... Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I believe O'Neill, a Freemason, as a result of his stardom and not beforehand. Go, go ahead, Hawkeye. And, and back to Darnell. He's had barely even gotten started. That's okay. Again, just looking at Drumbeat's uh, Jesuit fingerprints. So Pope Leo X, Giovanni di Lorenzo de' Medici, death anniversary, 1 December 1521. That's huge. Leo X who is the Medici Pope chosen by Yahweh, chosen by Yahweh to just be so despicable to drive Martin Luther over the top with his depravity. Posh, endless parties where naked little boys jump out of the dessert. He was... When when he got his ascendancy, uh, couldn't even get up from his uh, from his reclined position, and he was the reason why constant indulgences in order to fund his licentious behavior. He helped put Martin Luther over the top. Okay. Uh, do you, do you, do you, no, I didn't know that. Do you oh, think yeah. that? That Parks, so as what Darnell is going to present, do you think she would have gotten a direct, okay, on uh, this is what we want, we have we have a task for you? Well, it, I will say that this whole bus thing was arranged. I mean, even um, normie civil rights researchers know it was an arranged thing because the claim was that when women were having this issue, a lot of them had babies out of wedlock and such. Rosa Parks was, I believe, a secretary with the NAACP office. It was all arranged for her to do it to be kind of like the spotless lamb going up for slaughter. And so it was all arranged. Now, whether she got a um, date certain from someone else, I do not know, but it was all arranged, the whole thing. Yeah. All right, Darnell, keep Definitely. going, pal. Sorry for stepping on you. Yeah. So um, I did want to drop that video that I sent about the whole thing because I think that was pretty good. But basically, is the video that I'm going to drop in chat mentions, you know, they won't even let the bus die. I mean, the bus continues to be a, kind of like this icon, kind of like this idol. You had... Um, well, so that's not Barack even the original Obama bus. All they did was the just, is, is just, is just fabricated yeah. something that looks similar. I don't doubt for a minute. They didn't track down the actual right. bus. They're just doing everything they can to milk the shit out of divide and conquer. Keep going, pal. Right, right. So this is all a played up divide and conquer scheme, like you said. It's like these people that want to get their faces, black faces, into notoriety, just like white people do it. They sell their soul. They go into one of these secret organizations and sell their soul to get the notoriety, as she did. Martin Luther King Jr., let's move on to him. He is not a Freemason. He was about to become a Freemason. He was assassinated just before he was about to be installed. He was going to be installed as a Freemason when he came back from Memphis on site by, I believe it was the Auburn Avenue, Prince Hall Freemason head had promised to do that. I'm, it's a long write-up, so I put it, I'm putting it in chat. It's a long write-up I put in Gab. But what has happened since then is that Donald Trump, along with Freemason John Lewis, they arranged a bill where that Prince Hall Freemason Lodge, or temple as they call it, became a national historic site. When Donald Trump signed a law or an act to basically make Martin Luther King's like birthplace, 
burial place and so on as national historic sites, they included, they enlarged the area to include the Masonic Temple so that that would be included as a national historic site. So now you've got that included. Even though King didn't become a Freemason, the temple is included as a historic site now. All right, as I thanks as, to and, Jesuit train Trump and Prince Hall Freemason John Lewis. In my response to you, pal, I asked you, do you think this is First Corinthians five, where Paul says, "All right, I've got a Christian having sex with his stepmother, and not even the pagans are doing this. I've turned him over to Satan, so that." He loses his life but keeps his soul. Do you think that that's in play here? Yeah, Mar- Martin Luther King be being assassinated prior to becoming a full Mason. Definitely could be a play here because he was the, the Freemasons, they make it clear that he was going to be, be killed just before going. And you've got Freemason, well, he wasn't a Freemason or known to be one at the time, Jesse Jackson right there by his side and others martin luther king's grandfather king jr's father was a prince hall freemason so martin luther king jr was basically slated to be one himself as well that was kind of a, a given of course as i've noted and already cited rosa parks was an eastern star the the freemason were very integral in a lot of these civil rights movements and hosting the meetings and they were more involved than is ever mentioned because then that would let the cat out the bag that a lot of this was a big Freemason move. And that reminds yeah, me... Even before then, goes back to the Civil War, just the whole racist propaganda getting everybody to fight over that while well, they take the Jesuits take over because the Jesuits run the lodges. And Divide, and and Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. I know the Jesuits brag every year during Black History Month that they helped Martin Luther King and I have pictures of King with all these Jesuit priests at univer- Jesuit universities. and So there's that. And then in response to Rosa Parks, um, there's something going on with Michigan Eastern Star Freemasonry because she she did that in Michigan, as you know. And um, Governor Whitmer here, she's a witch. I can't prove she's Eastern Star. I can't find the sources yet. But I know she's a witch because she posted this picture of her favorite book, which is called The Witches Are Coming. And she's all grinning and happy about this book that she's a witch. So I, I, there's something going on with our well, governor. We, 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 we've been calling her Gretchen Witchmer, and we didn't realize how right we were. It was um, just, a, I mean, um, I, kind of similar, but they just recently in the FDNY just swore in its first black female chaplain. And somebody caught that the book that she's swearing in on, she's a reverend. It's not a Bible. It says women's. It's like a green book. And all you can see is women's. And that's it. And nobody knows what she was actually swearing in on. But she's supposed to be the first black female chaplain of the FDNY. And they have her swearing in on something other than a Bible. That's just. Yeah, like the Michigan senate or congress or wherever they meet up in lansing there's all these satanic um things going on like monuments being put up and witches like coming out as senate all these senators democrat senators coming out as witches like it's really weird um third generation uh, darnell we're not done yet third generation freemasons uh, which we have seen uh frederick tupper saucy number three hawkeye Right. And yep. uh, Charles, what's his middle name? Darwin, who Hawkeye another dropped another fucking bomb on me. How did I not know he died on 19 April? Also, uh, grandfather was a Freemason. So, OK, now, wait, uh, when I say third generation. Holy shit, Alex, give me a couple hundred more links for my homework to do. Um, third generation. So. We look at somebody like Charles Darwin. We look at somebody like Frederick Tupper Saucy. We don't have links on them being Freemasons, but we do have Grandpappy as a Freemason proven. So, and the fact, great, okay, the fact that Saucy goes into the de- the detail of old Freemasonry up to the light, and you'll see the watermark. 
of 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 of, of the Jesuit Superior General. He, even though he opens his book, so so rulers of evil, your small knowledge about governing body bodies, uh, openly stating that his cousin is an ordained Jesuit priest, and then of course you have that interaction with the uh, the prosecutor there, who's also an ordained happens to be an or they, they were ordained together, the the cousin the, Saucy's cousin. And then Saucy devoted how many chapters to, well, directly to Freemasonry and indirectly, and never states. We in the information we have, we don't have a lodge or an initiation date, but we do have, as per the the, the Princeton obituary, and uh, and what was in the obituary of the Frederick Tupper Saucy the first, so a part part of a one of a fraternity and. Uh, the, the the lodge, but it, it doesn't state specifically which one. We don't have the information yet, so just wanted to point that out. I wanted to I wanted to address a question from Fat Bob. He was asking about if Martin Luther King Jr. was Boulay. Um, I gave a full breakdown of that in an earlier chat, and I guess I'll try and find the link. He was part of a, a organization fraternity called Alpha Pi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, which also James Cone was part of. And Martin Luther King carried on James Cone's uh, Black Liberation Theology, which James Cone just so happened to invent, just as Central America was drumming up its Jesuit-inspired liberation theology, and he threw color onto it. But that was in an, an earlier chat. But Martin Luther King Jr. is basically a member of a group that was spawned by the Boule. So that's another whole another whole show. But I'll, I'll try to find the link and put it in chat. But I wanted to bring up that Jesse Jackson, as I said, is a Freemason. Scotty Pippen's a Freemason. Mention Shaq's a Freemason. Tons of others. Um, Kwaisi and Fume. I just put in chat a link to a uh, where I listed a whole bunch of Mega Evers. He was a Freemason. Alex Haley, Freemason. Thurgood Marshall, Freemason. Um, a. Philip Randolph, who was involved with the unions and the uh, sleeping car porters. Freemason. Nat King Cole. Freemason, W.B. Du Bois, Freemason, Louis Armstrong. Free, I, could, I could keep going. but Well, you know. wait, you rolled right over <laughs> Jesse Jackson, as we've mentioned yeah. many times before. Jesse Jackson, the bitch and snitch, responsible for triangulating King. By the way, uh, yeah. your boy, Council of Nice Ears, makes it seem like the um, King assassination was fake. I, 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 I agree that this picture looks as staged as it gets, but I don't know that I'm ready to go as far as to say King is not dead. I think he is. I would, yeah, I wouldn't say it was fake. What was what happened? Just like the JFK assassination, it didn't happen from where they claim it happened and how they claim that. It I love that. Yeah. I love. Um, so you see how you see how the machine takes something that is manipulated and fabricated and spins it to an extreme of bullshit. I have heard repeatedly. I even heard Hiram Dukes make the ridiculous claim that Kennedy survived the assassination and lived out on a Greek island with the and behind the door. I'm like, dude, you're killing me. Yeah, 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 that, yeah that, we know Hit, we know Hitler survived, but it's not so certain about these other guys. Yeah, I'm going to um, put in chat. I think uh, Judge Joe Brown did do a good um, a good bit of research into that whole James Earl Ray thing and that whole assassination. I think he does the best breakdown. I'm, I put that in the chat. Uh, Paul, you, Mr. You, Alex, you, are you, you still there? Hang on, Mr. You, Alex. I, I I need you to Hawkeye. You next, uh, Mr. Alex. I don't know. I've, I'm I, I juggling so much freaking data mr alex you connected the dots uh stephen bandera and uh a second prominent ukrainian name and their catholic roots uh give me again your gab link on that i know i've saved it i want to make doubly sure that i saved it hang on let me go get it um just hang on all right you go take your time uh hawkeye what were you what do you have Hey, Johnny, I got to go, but thanks for having me on. Alex, love you, pal. Great work. Great work. See you soon. Thanks. thanks for, hey, thanks for signing off, too. Critical, critical. Thank you, guys. Always interrupt me and give me an Italian good night and not an Irish good night. I just wanted to say the, so, but this, this photograph, 
Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, big picture, pal. Wait, wait, wait. An Italian good night is get the fuck over here. Give me a hug. Come on, let's go. Not uh, Irish good night of. (laughs) The fuck is that? All right, Hawkeye, go ahead. Uh, The image. Back to this idea of uh, Father Jesuit Francis Brown, the Titanic. You have uh, Wild Brown with the the monk emolliation. Uh, you have uh, the Abraham Zabruder footage uh, of um, ca- ca- like the only known foot cap capturing these like tro- monuments tro- of a trophy. So m- the Im- images that capture a monument, which is a trophy of of the the machine, the Jesuit machine, uh, fulfilling its its task, what it does. But I just wanted to point out that uh, so J- James Earl Ray, shit, where is it? You back to this Tennessee Waltz, the making of a p- political prisoner, g- g- co-written, if not written completely, w- uh, w- with James Earl Ray, Frederick Tupper Saucy. All right, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm f- focusing on my homework. Back up just a That's little okay. bit and hit it again. No, just t- Tennessee Waltz, the making of, of a political prisoner. Prisoner. So James Earl Ray, the man that were. Are you given, saying he's innocent? I'm not. I'm not saying anything. It's just the fact that you have the man that was put forth as this is the uh, just in that photograph. How, how many people are pointing towards something towards where where, where the where the the shot came from? But J- James R. Ray, the alleged uh, the, sh- the shooter, the shootist, the murder, the the one who shot Martin Luther King. His his book, The Making of a Political Prisoner, was co-authored, if not fully authored, by Frederick Tupper Saucy the Third. Which is also acknowledged in Rulers of Evil, useful knowledge about governing bodies. So you have this back to this Tupper Saucy connection. Are you kidding? Jesuit, me? Wait a Jesuit, minute. Wait Free, a minute. Seen, that's dizzying. That's dizzying. Sure. Uh, the 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 book again is what by who? It's it's called Tennessee Waltz. The the Waltz, the making of a political prisoner. And it's and it's the James O. Rice story. The, yeah, I've not read it, but I I know the, the title. The James O'Ray story is fucking co-written by Frederick Tupper Saucy the Third. Yeah, G- give and me I, the title I, of the book again. Tennessee it's Waltz. Ten- Tennessee Waltz: The Making of a Political Prisoner. I don't have an exact date, uh, the publication date to the. Uh, moment. That guy was a fucking Jesuit. So all this time, it's fucking Hawkeye. All this time he's like, Saucy is a Jesuit. Saucy is Jesuit. I'm like, oh, dude. All right, like, don't go overboard. Saucy Jesuit. Yeah. Wow. Prisoner. So what? Yeah. So it's like what gave us. So the, and I think that came before the mir the um, what miracle on Main Street the 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 financial. Anyway, the the book that. These books obviously preceded, um, rulers of evil, but um. Anyway. Hang just on. point 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 that out. <laughs> Three hundred and twenty-two pages. Wow. Um, here it is. Hold on. Are you kidding me? Oh, the kid, this would have come after the miracle on, on Main Street. So he was he was known for the miracle on Main Street, which was a, a tax revolt book, right? I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I've not read it. I don't want to comment on it, but it's. But I guess point point pointing out loophole, not just loopholes, but just the 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 fallacy of the the the, the system. But then, and I don't know whether Earl Ray contacted him through that. So the, the anyway, so it's the fact that we have this very very crazy important connection now. And then and then a, and then twelve years later, in nineteen ninety nine, January first, nineteen ninety nine, you have the publication of Rules of Evil. Useful knowledge about governing bodies. Wow. All right. Pause. Um, oh, all right, this Mr. Alex, been... Stephen Bandera and Roman Shukovich and their and their Catholic roots. Actually, now what I want to say to people is Stephen Bandera and Roman Shukovich are actually devout Catholics. And also on Twitter, there's a person called, I'm trying to remember his name. He goes by the name of Al. He's arguing that there's a huge, there's a high chance 
that Bandera could be a Jesuit because his father is a priest in the Greek Ukrainian Catholic Church, which is openly run by Jesuits. Okay, uh, it's a little bit of a uh, it's a little bit of a leap, but not a big leap. So uh, I'm I'm okay with I'm okay with making that as long as we present it as an accusation and not a fact until we can prove it's a fact. Um, no. I just wanted to, oh, sorry. Um, but right at the beginning when the war took over again, the, the Greek, uh, I think it was the Greek Catholic church, um, actually broke away from the patriarch of Moscow and went to Rome and officially established its relations with Rome. Uh, Severo Shevchik, I think what his name was, he was like the, uh, I don't know what their, their ranks are, but basically he was the head of the Ukrainian church and he, and he broke away from the patriarch of date, Moscow. Date, and went to you have Rome. a date on that? Yeah. You have a date? Pal? Yeah. I, yeah. Give me a moment. I have, I, my, uh, one second. Okay. My, and of course, okay. all over the newspapers is how the cross dressing Jewish comedian that is supposedly elected president of Ukraine outlawed Russian orthodoxy because he's just a Jesuit cuck and the Jesuit CIA is doing everything possible to d needlessly divide and conquer. As I've repeatedly said, when, when we went through this, the first version in 2014, I said way back then, okay, go to johnnysarucci.com Go to johnnysurucci.com. First of all, send some love. Go to the support tab. Go to PayPal, PayPal, Vatican, Venmo. All this amazing information, all completely free. Help Johnny pay his bills. Back in 2014, I did a story on how the poor people of Ukraine had two choices. Vicious, brutal, mass-murdering Jesuit Nazis and or vicious, brutal, mass-murdering Soviets. Those are the two choices the people of Ukraine have had over the generations, starting with Stalin through to today. They are very, very close Slavic peoples connected by blood and language and culture to Russia. Jesuit CIA saw this as a soft underbelly of the hated Orthodox Russians and have been digging, 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 digging ever since. Okay? Um, go to giantsroots.com, go to support tab, PayPal, PayPal, Vatican, Venmo, send some love. Uh, and look at, wait a minute, pause, pause. As always, my beloved co-host, or how, would he, how do we highlight my, my boy? How do we, my beloved co-host, thoroughly, head to toe, is wearing, I'm sure he's wearing Johnny Srucci underwear as well. Don't show that off. Uh, Love you, pal. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, Johnny. May I also add in New York, there's actually a a monument dedicated to Stepan Bandera and Roman Sukovich in the Catholic cemetery. That's huge, pal. Um it's actually in the um Moss Robert Moss Robson's um is in the Twitter. Ooh, I'll send you the link again. Yeah, thank you. I know. Listen, as I said, I save everything. And because I save everything, it's buried somewhere. So it's always good to have it twice. After the scene to the game. Oh, yeah. You, you, you sent it previously today. Okay. Yeah. I'm not that bad. I'm bad, but I'm not ba that bad. Okay, got it. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The two names of Ukrainian independent solidarity. Mr. Alex says, sources, both Catholics. And I've got a third one who's also a Catholic as well. Um, I've just seen you. Um, he goes by the name of um, and Andrew Melnick. He was also involved with Stepan Bandera and Roman Sukovic. He's also a Catholic as well. And he actually died in Luxembourg. But according to Vatipedia, they call him a conservative Catholic. Uh, Andre Melnick? Is that who we're talking yeah. about? Yeah. 
I got him. Let me see here. Conservative, not an evangelical Catholic. Yeah, so-called Greek Catholic. Oh, my goodness, dude. You're hitting on all cylinders, pal. Here, I'll, I'll put it on screen for a second. I think it will be... I would say... Um, yeah, that's, that's the guy. Yeah, thanks, buddy. So, here, let me let me also share. All right, fantastic. So, here. This is what you guys are doing to me. Okay. Here's my fucking homework. Here's my fucking homework. Do you see all this? This is over and above the emails, the social networking, Sorry, uh, Johnny, I got you. I got it for you, and I got I can, I have everything. So uh, from what I said, in 2011, the Ukrainian Church split from the Patriarchate of Moscow and entered into communion with Rome. From the Wikipedia on Savietoslav Shevchuk, on 29th of March 2011, Shevchuk said, "I'm departing with my bishops and all of the metropolitans of our church to Rome because it's our duty to make a courtesy visit to the Holy Father, i.e., the Pope." He said at a press conference in Kiev. The UGCC leader said that the UGCC synod of bishops had prepared a number of proposals for the Pope. We're really going to tell of how our church is developing and that each developing church becomes a patriarchate because a patriarchate is a period and a completion of the development of the church, he said. And um, again, I'm sorry, pal. Yeah. Give me the date again. The year. No, I got the date. Uh, 29 March, you said. No, give me 29, give me the of, March, 29 of March. 29 of March, 2011. It's from the Wikipedia that page. Recently. Of- 2011, yeah. which means prior to the first spate of CIA bullshit in 2014. It's true. Yeah. It's from uh, Savietoslav Shevchuk, his Wikipedia page. Uh, give post- me that, put that link in our in our Zoom chat. You oh, got I got it. to my fucking homework. Actually, you can put it in the Odyssey chat. You can put it in the Odyssey chat, and I'll pick it up there. It's bad. It's uh, it works either okay. way. I'll open it up now. Yeah. All right, pal. Uh, I wanted to also mention real quick regarding the whole Rosa Parks situation. Just remember, there are pictures of everything. There are pictures of her on the bus. There are pictures of her getting booked. There are pictures everywhere because it was all arranged. That's how they had pictures. I mean, how do you have a cameraman everywhere in every stage of her whole bus situation? It's because it was all Because the key word is staged. Exactly. Well, but this is revolutionary. Uh, um, Hang on, Hawk. This is revolutionary, what what, uh, what Darnell is on here. These are the most iconic, historic, earth-shattering moments in the civil rights movement. And to realize that they were this, and and uh, Darnell, I wanted to ask you. So, at the root of this is Freemasonry. Well, we see the big picture of how Freemasonry is the um, the bitch of the Catholic Church. Church. My follow-on question is: Okay, they have plausible deniability with Freemasonry, but they have a reduced level of loyalty in using Freemasonry. So there's a little bit more risk than using full blown Catholics is another reason that they needed Freemasonry with this civil rights divide and conquer because there is a tradition of true Christianity in the black community that had to be overcome. Had they come in there with full ordained colored Jesuit priests, it would not have worked as well. Do you think that's true? Yeah, and you know, yeah, and I think just like America has this, um, you know, advertising that it was all a Christian freedom movement, but there was really this Jesuit underpinning on it. Yes. Same thing with the civil rights movement, exact yes. same type of thing. And, you know, I feel like, you know, just like Prince Hall Freemasonry is kind of like the kiddie table. It's kind of like the whole civil rights movement. No, there's no direct Jesuit connection. It's kind of like they're, you know, in kind of like this kiddie group <laughs> that they get to make their Absolutely. moves Absolutely. And not but only there's that, no that's... no direct, direct, you know, connection to... 
because the they are they are the true racists. They they vehemently vehemently hate minorities, and then they throw that hatred on us regular rank and file white boys, crackers. We're the ones. Meanwhile, they are the ones who vehemently hate. I don't want to take take the time to look all this up. Uh, the bullshit, contrived bullshit of the brilliant, heroic, brave Catholic clergy that found the vaccines were secretly sterilizing Africans. They're the fucking ones that did it. And then they get to stand and grandstand about what a great job they uncovered it and they stopped it. They were the fucking ones that did it in the first place. They wouldn't have known. How the fuck does a fucking priest or a nun know what's in a vaccine? We don't even know what's in a fucking vaccine. It's yeah, grandstanding. Please. under No different than the priest standing a pale picture of, of, of uh, um, Martin Luther King getting his uh, honorable uh, Catholic uh, diploma there with the priest with his arm around him. And right after that, he got the dagger right in his back. Yeah. And speaking of the vaccines, I wanted to talk about the whole Greg Wyatt situation. You were talking about race with Greg Wyatt and how the whole vaccine thing was racialized because – a lot of people, I guess, you know, you hear about New York, there's a lot of black people that won't get vaccines. You hear about the, and just make clear, I'm no fan of, but the Nation of Islam does not promote vaccines. Well, why is that? It's because the vaxxed people touch base with Riza Islam, who is the health minister of the Nation of Islam. And they said, hey, you know, it seems like they're targeting black people with these vaccines and more black people are being harmed. And so Riza Islam gets in Louis Farrakhan's ear. And that is how this whole no vax nation of Islam. And of course they got a lot of sway in New York. And if they're saying something, the black Hebrew Israelites who are frauds are also going to be parroting it. And so that's how this whole thing got going and how it all got really heavily racialized in modern times. And I could, um, I'll put it in the Zoom chat for you, John. How much of the how, how much is the minority community yanked around, especially on poisoning, especially on poisoning, yanked around? Whether it's a uh, planned slaughterhood abattoir in the heart of every black community or the vaccines. Yeah. So as soon yeah. as you as soon as you mentioned that whole race thing, it, it made me immediately think about Riza Islam and how that that all got going. All right, Danny and then Bill. Let's turn Okay. I have nothing for you right now. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I did. My apologies. Uh, you were talking about with the uh, civil rights movement, and on I was going to say, you know the famous incident of the guy uh, pouring acid in the pool in St. Augustine, Florida? It, um, no, give so a recap. Guy, give a recap on that. So back so back in, uh, there was a, it was a hotel in St. Augustine, and there was a famous photograph of the the hotel owner pouring acid in the pool because he didn't want uh, his black uh, customers swimming in it. So it was a segregated pool. And it was, you know, famous photo, famous story. James Brock was the hotelier who was doing that. And he was actually, he's very involved. Well, he passed away in 2007. But if you look, and I just found his obituary to confirm it. He was involved with like many Masonic bodies. He was a Shriner. He was uh, York Wright. He was everything. Um, he was in the Rotary Club. He died on September 11th also. But um, yeah, so even him, like the, one of the most famous incidents of on the opposite side was a Shriner Freemason. You, you have uh, sources Brock. on that, Danny? I'll go ahead yeah, and add to it, my fucking homework. You know, when yeah. I was a kid, when I was a kid, anytime we'd be in a pool that anybody felt like it had too much chlorine, that incident that Danny brought up right. was mentioned. Right. Oh, they put too much chlorine in the pool because they didn't want their own black people in the pool. Anytime. Right. Yeah, let me just get myself easier. All right. Um, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Alex. Mr. Alex. Uh, may I also add the prohibition stuff is also heavily racialized as well. For example, um, for example, when it comes to things like cannabis or opium, I've seen conservatives blame it on Asians, um, Jews, and even minorities. And 
one of yeah. the things that I recently saw, the Catholic Church is now trying to portray that prohibition was created by the Protestants as well, which is really ridiculous because from the sources I've seen, the prohibition movement was actually created by Jesuits themselves. That's right. Those those fucking Protestants are just nothing but killjoys. Whether it's the so-called Puritans stopping our sex or the Protestants stopping our, our alcohol. Yeah, this video here, Johnny, you have to advance to it's like minus 25, 35 because it goes backwards as far as the time. Yeah, if you click on the uh, on the number, you can get it to go in the in the a different direction. It was normal, as I was saying before, it was just regular. It's what happened. So I was called in 2015, early 2015, by a woman named Michelle Ford, who was the founder of Vaccine Injury. Can I tell you how fucking ridiculous this uniform is? Can I tell you how fucking ridiculous this uniform is? Three awareness lead. Dr. Stephanie Seneff of MIT. Um, she's an incredible... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Outside of the ludicrous red bow tie, what do we have? We have more black and white. We have more men in black. We just thought autism was normal. As I was saying before, it was just regular. It's what happened. So I was called. Just like your boy says, uh, Darnell, you're welcome to, to, to reach out. I He's not responding. He's not acknowledging my comment. Um... Council of Nice Ears. For any percentage of the black community to awaken to the divide and conquer agenda, revolution. It's all. We, we won. In 2015. Go, go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, he's got the black and the white and the, the red tie reminds me of like the Jesuit red shoes. <laughs> right. Well, what you may not be able to see is in the corner of the fucking ridiculous red bow tie, um, is the, uh, the, the Turkish Mimisar. Islamic uh, crescent. It looks like a cross in there as well. Uh, Hawkeye, what are you seeing? I was going to just know that you, just as you mentioned, the crescent and the star, which is back to... That's a star, uh, crescent and the star. Back to the, 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 the 12 August 2017, the, the, cha the Challenger event in Charlottesville, Virginia... Where they they framed Johnny with Mar Marcus Martin wearing his his red Nike Air Jordans, and then and with the uh, with, with the Shriner the bumper sticker on the Toyota Tundra and the fact that there's there's literally a Freemas a, a lodge it's called which is Widow's Sons Lodge number sixty is right around the corner a block and a half away from the location of the the Charger the Dodge Charger event that happened on the the, the anniversary date of the sinking of the Kursk. Right, hey, Johnny. Wonderful. Is wonderful. there any way you can zoom in on that bow tie on that? I'm working it, pal. I'm looking guy. on on um, on because Microsoft. It looks like something on there, yeah. I'm looking on Microsoft but, Bling. Sorry to interrupt there. Go ahead. No, no, no. Absolutely. Uh, uh, please interrupt when you need to. Um. Yeah, I don't know if we have time to get into Wakanda either, Johnny. If you want to get into that, some. I'm Absolutely. Two, uh, let, let's let's pause and and um, you do the Lemurian star silliness. Is that what you're talking about? No, I was I was talking about the um, as far as the the name Wakanda, it that and the false god that underpins the whole Black Panther mythology. Okay. Um. Basically, the name Wakanda, and no disrespect to any uh, Native American tribes people. But Wakanda is basically a false god that represents, it was basically, if you think back to Mars Hill with Paul, with the unknown god, the tribute to the unknown god, this is what Wakanda is in some Native American tribes. And so throwing that into the whole Black Panther mythology, they're basically paying homage to an unknown god. Also, the false god Basque is basically the panther god they don't mention in the cartoons that that's a female false god it's a goddess 
Bass is the Panther God, and that is what totally underpins all of the whole Black Panther mythology. Okay. Doesn't that also uh, Egyptian uh, Bath is uh, yes. presented as a black cat? Yes, yes. Uh, and ultimately, we, we us uh, comic book geeks are oblivious, not oblivious, but we purposefully overlook the direct connection and the frothing up of the divide and conquer with that silly comic book character, the Black Panther. Um, I'll get some dates and creation, creation, uh, What's fascinating is uh, you have so the the pan, I'm just looking on the the Vadi wiki page of Wakanda. So uh, you have the pantheon of Wakanda consisting of Thoth, Ta, Mujaji, Koku, and Bast, the panther goddess. The fact that you have this so Thoth, uh, Ta, whether it's you want to just it, Egyptian, but the, if I remember, uh, Tupperasi rules of evil connects uh, Thoth. Buddha, and I think a, a number a number of of deities with uh, the the pre flood Enoch, the actual the uh, the patriarch Enoch, and that it, it, it anyway it's a fa fascinating connection. I think there's something going on there. So uh, the fact that all this has a source, some it's, it's rooted in our prime reality somewhere, the pre flood world. Yeah, and Stan Lee's daughter, I think, was asked about the whole situation once, and she said that her dad was pretty well clued in on, um, you know, false gods and mythology and such, and so that the name, if they use the name like Wakanda, it was used intentionally, with them knowing the background. It oh, wasn't he, just something they picked out of a hat. That that that's what's fascinating. The, the these are learned men. They know they know their they know their stuff. They know what they're doing. And just as Vaithin's one of his Crete to Malta, can't remember which number. There's the 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 five part series, even acknowledging. Sure, we the the, the joke that it, the, we we've covered com comics, but cartoons, and the type of cartoon that The Simpsons is, is or what it and what the longest running, um, um, so what series on television uh, in the in the in the history of television. But the, the 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 people writing the creators, the producers, and so on all ha happen to just have d degrees, and even are there's fr a Freemasonry connection. But the fact that you have such high level, um, such learned people writing these, they, they know they clearly know what they're doing. It's there's nothing by accident. It's all Jesuit theater. We said before, if it's on a screen, it's Jesuit theater. Yeah, no different than um, Gnostic uh, f Gnostic Jew Gene Roddenberry, who 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 did play that game very often. Now, I don't know how many times he he did not write every single episode of the original Star Trek, but uh, he used Gnostic uh, learning to combine the cowboy genre with the space genre. Two huge Jesuit theater, which is how. He got that. There, there. I'm sure there were other creators. Well, that's how he sold it to the network. He called it the wagon train to the stars. Right. Right. And the Jesuits that run everything space, said, "Yeah, yeah, space we a space western. Why right. not?" And the reason why the first pilot didn't, uh, the reason why the first pilot didn't work out is there wasn't a gunfight. Remember, all Westerns have to have a gunfight, right? So when they did the second one with Shatner, there's a gunfight at the end. <laughs> right. See, I... All right. So what do you got here, Bill? Is that what I sent you? National oh. Bowtie Day was... Oh, gee. It was supposed to be a picture of Pee Wee Ehrman. He okay. Was putting on his red bow tie just to be funny. Hey, you know what? You throw it out on the thumbnail if you want to as well. Okay. Um, boom. Just like that, I got through half of more, one of my topics, of my 58 topics, uh, but another incredible show. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to, because I know you guys have still a Pennsylvania shit ton of stuff to cover, uh, and I'll go around the horn, although 
yes, finish, finish up, find a balance, do what you need to do. You, if you have to go a little long, go a little long. Uh, because I want to make sure you get done everything that you got done. Uh, Jesus saved Darnell. Where, where are we with, with what you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I think we covered the major topics. Um, I will just mention real quick, I'm sure you're hearing a lot about Fannie Willis in the news being here in Atlanta. It's been a hot topic. Keep in mind that Start Fannie from scratch. Willis, Start from scratch. Uh, remind us who this... Fannie Willis is district attorney Fulton County, who... Big um, dog and pony about yeah, how oh, they Donald caught Trump. her being corrupt yeah. and... Right, right. And just keep in mind that she is a member of Alpha Kappa mm-hmm. Alpha Sorority Incorporated, just like um, Kamala Harris. So there's some sorority sister um, efforts going on. And it seems like, and I mean, I don't support any of these people, but it seems like there was a meeting between Kamala and Fanny just before she started all of her stuff against Trump. And so it's pretty interesting. I was going to put that in the chat. It's um, one of these reporters who does kind of independent podcasts or video podcasts, but he's like tied to the Epoch Times, but they don't do any Epoch Times ads in this particular Which is controlled by the CIA. Follow and gong, right? Right. Epoch Times, follow and gong, CIA. Yeah, it's all, but it's a pretty interesting uh, setup going on where Fanny was meeting with Kamala just before they started the whole investigation. And the timing is all very suspect. So it's interesting. But I'll, I'll uh, yield my time since I know everybody else has a lot to say. It's all good. No, if, if as long as, because you, you've, we missed you for a week. Um, is that uh, Vadipedia entry that you put in the chat, Danny? Does that have anything related to this clown being a Freemason? Um, uh, it's the um, go to the, his his obituary, the James Brock obituary. That's just about the 1964 the Motor Lodge protests behind, and every that's just that's the Vatapedia co- uh, article on that. But the Legacy dot com is his actual obituary, and it gives all the bo- appendant bodies he belonged to. Okay, did you? <laughs> What's the name? James Brock. Legacy. James E. Brock. St. Augustine, Florida. Um. All right, Danny, anything that you want to? Yeah, when you had mentioned about the Whitmer before, that's what popped into my head. I realized I kind of threw in a non sequitur. But um, I just do two things recently that were really interesting. Is one, uh, New York's fire department actually got their first black female chaplain and the photo of her swearing in is not on a Bible. It's a green book that all you can see is women's. And I have the photo of it. Um, Cause we've been, it's been going around here. Like everyone's like, what the hell did she swear in on? Um, and then Tish James, who was at that ceremony, the guys there started freaking out and being and yelling about Trump, Trump, Trump. And now she wants, she demanded that the fire department, the FDNY has to track down or those guys who actually were screaming at her need to turn themselves in and show up at the headquarters for re-education. Yeah. And she's a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, by the way, where they have the symbol that's a triangle as uh, one of their main symbols. They're, They're one of the most obviously occultic. I mean, they're all occultic, but they're one of the most obviously occultic when you look at their symbology. All right. It's not easily coming up. You need to send me that clown's obituary, buddy. Okay. The legacy. Yeah. All right. I'll send it in an email. I'll email it. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, listen, you guys are killing me because I actually, because of that, I have to bring up something else. <laughs> Let me see if I've got a dossier on this guy. Go ahead, Hawkeye. Are you trying to jump in? No, nope, not yet. Okay. Are, uh, we, are, are we wrapping up? As usual, I'm trying to wrap up. We may not wrap up. Most important thing is, I want to. I want to have a complete show. So if I have to go sure. long, I'll go long. How about um, uh, how about the fact? How about the fact that today is it just happens to be Jam, James Earl Ray's birthday, born born in 10 March 1928. Can you, you imagine that? Me? Are you kidding me? Thank you. Jesus has the a birth. sense of humor. Um. Okay, think this to- is sorry. Good. This is interesting to know on the Gretchen Witchmer thing. I don't have it highlighted. The clown 
the Federal Bureau of Inquisition clown that investigated the Gretchen Whitmer kidnapping plot is the same Federal Bureau of Inquisition clown to also be lead investigator on the January 6th Fed surrection. Stephen D'Antonio? No, D'Antuno? Yeah, he's uh, he's Polish, right? It doesn't matter. He's, he's clearly another ethnic, almost certainly Catholic. Let me look at his dossier and see that I can say for sure that he's another Catholic, Jesuit-trained Catholic Italian at the fucking FBI. Let me double check here. I've got a, I've got a dossier on him, but I didn't highlight anything. Um... St. Louis Field Office. What's his education? All right. This is what happens when I have it and I have it filed, but I don't have it uh, highlighted. I've got to. I've got to go through this. I highly suspect we have another ethnic Italian fucking Catholic at the FBI, but I. I want to make absolutely sure. By getting a source on it. While I'm looking, I'll go ahead and turn it over to. Uh, let me finish. So, Danny, anything else to finish, Danny? Um, no, that's it for right now. All right, pal. Uh, while I'm looking on this guy, uh, let me let me go, uh, Mr. Alex, before I go to the hawk. Go on your second topic, uh, Mr. Alex. Okay, I forgot to add. Um, for people. Who are not familiar, Victor Yushchenko, um, whose wife is Jesuit trained. Um, I think in early 2000s, Victor Yushchenko made Stepan Bandera and Roman Shukovich into the he- heroes of Ukraine. Victor Yushchenko, he's the um, Ukrainian puppet that took over for the, uh, the CIA puppet that took over Ukraine as opposed to. Guys are killing me. Correct. Um, I forgot to also add um, on Reddit Jesuit World Order, there is mentioned that um, Victor Yushchenko's wife is actually Jesuit trained as well. Uh, let's see here. I'll try to find the link if I can. Just hang on. No, 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 no. Yeah, I had that wrong. Um, Yushchenko was the Russian puppet. Yes, Yushchenko's the Russian puppet, and he was replaced by the CIA puppet Yanukovych. Am I getting that right? They're both fucking puppets. Hang on, let me have a look. Yushchenko was first. Yushchenko was toppled. Wasn't well, he a like mega corrupt Russian puppet? And he was toppled and replaced by Yanukovych, who was. The CIA bitch. Am I getting that right? Hang on, let me have a look. Um, hang on. Hang on. And not just, if I have this, go back to my memory, the wife spent time at Georgetown? Yes? Correct. I'll find you the link. Hang on. Yeah, just found the link. Um, and if, so, okay, if I've got it right, how the fuck is the Russian puppet have his wife going to Georgetown. I've just posted the link. All right, guys, help me get this straight. Yashenko versus Yanukovych. Which puppet represented which regime? I'll share this on the screen here. There's even a photo of um, Yashenko with John E. Herbst as well, the American ambassador. Okay. John E. Herbst is the um, recent ambassador who was um, asking the countries to deliver F-16s to Ukraine. Yeah, this is the man who made um, Stepan Bandera and Roman Sukovich into the heroes of Ukraine. All right, it sounds like the, it sounds like the CIA puppet. 
It's hard to keep track of all these guys. I know that uh, Poroshenko is Mr. Chocolate Bar. Can't remember much more than that. Um, okay, maybe maybe he's the CIA puppet. Wasn't he like poisoned and it fucked up his face? Maybe he's a CIA puppet. All right. Regardless, I've got to I've got to weed through all this information, which I will add it to my fucking homework. Um, okay. Any anything else? Go ahead, Mr. Alex. And not before I finish off, um, the group that Stepan Bandera, Roman Sukovic, and I'm trying Andre Melnik created called our U- Ukrainian nas- nationality or OUN. The Catholic Church was involved from the start. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, they're making a big deal, David, in the chat. They're making a big deal out of, oh, Victoria Newland's stepping down. What the fuck? Ever? That bitch, how long was that Was that ring wraith? An apparatchik? Decades? There's no big deal about her. Ste- and she's just pulling a Fauci. A Fauci. All she's doing is she's going off to probably teach at some fucking university where she'll get paid millions of dollars for doing fucking nothing. She needs to be walking. She needs to be doing the perp walk in an orange jumpsuit awaiting sentencing. That's what she needs to be fucking doing. Everything's like a big deal. Oh, Newland stepping down. Yeah, so Gordon... Um, Yanukovych versus Yushchenko. Who represented, which one represented which side? They're both puppets. May I add Yushchenko represented the U.S. Yanukovych is Russia. Uh, Let me see here. Yanukovych was the Russian puppet? Yanukovych was the Russian puppet and Yashenko was the CIA puppet. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Okay. Uh, Hello, Johnny. I realize I'm only a couple hours late. Do you mind if I interject something? As he jumps in, I'm trying to get out of here and and George jumps on. (laughs) Okay, so uh, hello, Darnell, Darnell, Alex, and Danny, and whoever else might be with us. George. Okay, so uh, the, you mentioned for the federal government, where he's making almost half a million dollars a year in his base salary. That's not including all the kickbacks he's getting from Pfizer, Moderna, and God knows who. Because the other things, Fauci was on the board of directors for the. Oh, hi, Bill. And he was on the uh, board of directors for the. Well, they used to call the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and I guess it's just called the Gates Foundation now. Now, don't forget uh, the ex-Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinta, was it Ardern or Ardern, however you say, she's now teaching at Harvard. So they basically had to transfer from, from basically halfway across the world to this Ivy League school. So what is she going to be? I think she's teaching government there, so is she going to teach people how to destroy their countries. I don't doubt it, George. Um, Lay Jesuit Anthony Fauci, one of the most satanic mass murderers in our time, and also the most well-paid courtesy of the United States government. Proof of how Rome owns and dominates. The United States is the beast of the land, forcing all to worship the beast of the sea. Um. All right, George. No, sincerely, man. I, I not to bust your balls. I'm I'm trying to wind things down. So quickly, anything else? You got to go fast because I'm already at and probably over two oh, hours. Okay. Yes. Okay. I was having some technical issues. Surprise, surprise. Okay. <laughs> Can I just mention one thing before you sign off? Yes. Tomorrow, today is March the tenth, or at least it is here in North America. But tomorrow is March. March the 11th, and that's the four-year anniversary 
the, the WHO, the Horse Health Organization, or whatever that whatever it stands for, um, declared the pandemic. So right, uh, we covered that. Good for you. We did. So we did mention Tetris, that March eleventh. We did mention that March eleventh. Um, anniversary. And we always mention, whenever we mention the World Health Organization, we always say, founded on the birthday of Francis Xavier. That's April 7th? April 7th, 1948. Okay. Thanks, Hawkeye. And, of course, the head, was the head of the WHO. The, the head of the WHO? Who's on first? Or, I don't know. Third base. George, you, hey pal, no, you, I, so, I, I'm not talking. Hang on, pal, George. Tetris, the, 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 ha, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Your last two or three appearances, you've had a lot of bad internet interrupting. So, I don't know if there's a way for you to update that or improve that. We're, well, we're getting a lot of breakup. Okay, that's why I was so late. I got the invitation, but I, was, I had to try to fix something. All right, okay. you, you need various, you need somebody uh, you need somebody to tow the trailer to a hilltop somewhere, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll get a bigger wire um, hanger. Ask your brother-in-law to stand up on the fucking roof and go like this. All right, go ahead, finish your thought. Okay, uh, Gregarious, uh was it uh, Tedros Gregarious is a known communist. He grew up Roman Catholic. He was Catholic educated. He's had at least one papal audience, and he was a member of the uh, the People's Party in Ethiopia. Uh, he, so he's a known communist, a known Catholic, and a known Freemason. And he's had at least one papal audience. Why are we? So who is this, and why are we bringing him up? Tedros Ghebreyesus. He's the Secretary General of the World Health Organization. Oh, right, right, right. Ad, ad Um A known Catholic? Do I have that on his dossier? You're calling him a communist, a Catholic, and a Freemason. Uh, he's also a mass murderer, by the way. Uh, responsible for genocide. Oh, well, nobody is perfect. All right. Do we, um, you have so sources on all this? Hang on, by. hang on, hang on. You have sources on all this? Well, well he um, okay. Um, you can do a YouTube search on your various meeting with Pope Francis. He's that, doesn't that, that, that doesn't make him Catholic. Last decade. That doesn't make him Catholic. There's a, a fellow who lives in Australia. George, you got to fix I... your fucking internet. That meeting okay, yes, with he... the Pope does not make him Catholic. Okay, uh, fair fair enough. He went to a Catholic high school in somewhere um, in Ethiopia. Okay, so there, there again, that doesn't necessarily make him Catholic. No. So what we do is we say that he is Catholic trained. If we can verify his Catholic high school, that's what we say. It's precisely precise language. Uh, also, listen, you can't throw this shit out. You've got to have sources. Um, a free ma- okay, what lodge? What Freemasonic lodge? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And I don't even think I'm seeing his high school. He did. He went to um, PA Madres Nig- uh, Nigriache. Com- it was run the University of Asmara. It's a, a Comboni Sisters school. I'm looking it up right. I, I'm yeah. I found it. It's on his thing. I think it's now a public. University, but at one time it was found by the Com- Comboni oh. system. Give me that link, pal. Send me that link as well. Great job, Danny. Great save for George. Um, they play that shit all the time. They do that all the time. They do that with um, Vienna. Vienna's public now. Meanwhile, it was it, it was founded, and for years it was a vicious, brutal Jesuit Counter Reformation university that that uh, trained puppet Jews like. Fraud, uh, fraud, Sigmund Fraud. Uh, uh, how you want to kill your father and have sex with your mother? Fucking Greeks. Uh, anyway, all right, George. Um, fin- finish your thought. Okay, so 
I had several things to mention. I'll just mention one other thing. Um, I guess last year, Angela Davis, the famous communist from the 19, black American communist from the 1960s and 70s, received a, she didn't receive an award, but she received, a dinner, she was celebrated at a dinner at Loyola Marymount, Los Angeles. And I'm not sure how many times she's been a guest there, but her first visit was in 1969. And there's an article. Who are we talking about again? Who are we talking about again? Angela, Angela Davis. Davis. The lady Angela Davis, right. The black... oh, okay, black so paper, she right? went to Loyola. She went to Loyola, Marymount, Los Angeles to receive some sort of award. It, it wasn't a degree, but it was like the Kami. Prize or Kami like murderer that. of the uh, race baiter. Okay, so yeah, in general, okay, in, so in, in, in general, and I know it's it's hard for me to jump in, especially when we have these internet problems. In general, yes, we keep track of these honorary degrees, but in general, they're not nearly as good as on Jesuit as an actual education and degree honorary. This is just the whore of Babylon saying, "Oh, you done good." We love you. We bless you. You done good. As opposed to a full on indoctrination degree of any kind from Catholic or Jesuit institution. Uh, I'll take it, but I'm not going to put a lot of stock into it. Great job, Danny, on those links. Thank you. Oh, but actually her first appearance, Davis made her first appearance at Loyola Mary Mouse back in 1969. And uh, so she, she said in a speech that I've always been Dedicated to the principles of Catholic social justice. Oh, that's huge! Do you have a uh, you have a source on that? Well, the article what? that I sent you yesterday. This is from okay. The, uh, was it the the Goya, which is or the I'm sorry, the Hoya, which is the campus paper uh, in Loyola, Los Angeles, Marymount. Yeah, so keep she, in mind. Oh, go ahead, George. Uh, go go ahead, Darnell. Yeah, I was going to say, keep in mind, Angela Davis was a member of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, which was full up communist and ran around with Miles' Little Red Book. Mm-hmm. So her having and promoting communism is part of the course. I would expect it. It's not a surprise at all. All right, I'm double checking. I don't. George, I don't throw away anything. And. I don't know that I got a link from you from the Loyola. That's a Georgia. The Hoya is the Georgetown school paper. And I don't know. That oh, I I'm have... sorry. I, I'm sorry. The, the, the Hoya is a Georgia. I'm sorry. What are the uh, campus? Pa- okay. It's called Angela and the Rome. Okay. Um, really? Does it say Angela and, and Rome? Really? Well, that's what I called it. Oh. Uh, oh. Angela Davis founded at Loyola Marymount. That means that's a fancy way of saying. Okay, Loyola. okay. Angela Davis at Loyola Marymount. Angela Davis founded at Loyola Marymount mentions her Mayflower uh, NSS three times at most FBI fugitive. Okay, educated author. This is from February of last year, February the 28th. So just over a year ago. Educated author, philosopher, and activist Angela Davis opened up an overflow crowd to an overflow crowd at Loyola Marymount University on Thursday, January eighteenth, twenty twenty three. So the article was about an event that had taken place about five weeks earlier. In a conversation that enlightened and entertained the audience, waving weaving her life experience, uh, contemplation, and family history discovery, Davis among the country's leading uh, public intellectuals was led by her longtime friend Henry Louis, Louis Gossett Jr. Or Gates Jr. on a very personal journey through an episode of his award-winning PBS series Finding Your Roots. The surprise uncovered Davis's background we were enhanced during the LA Global Conversation series and interviewed by her keen insight into history and social psychology. Quote, I am a proud life okay quote I am proud of a lifelong commitment to resistance, close quote. Davis said on the TV segment, which was premiered in the LMU event in Ayers on February 21st, Gates added that Davis, quote, came by it naturally, close quote, remarking on the many activists of Davis's family history. Okay, um, 
All right, it, it looks like this is the same okay, thing, uh, right? This is it here. But by the way, you're wrong on the the, the date of the article, February thirteenth, not twenty eighth. This is it, right? Okay, I, I'm sorry. I need to get my glasses. My yes, February thirteenth. All right, listen, you're uh, you're what are you fifty six? You don't look a day over eighty two. Um, okay, I've got this. Let me tell you something, dude. Uh, I don't think I have this in my inbox from you, but I found it now. So. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of Henry Louis Gates, I, I'll just drop in the chat. Um, a lot of the stuff that he put out on DNA and telling people, oh, you're from this part of Africa and that is a bunch of bogus bull. But I'll, I'll put that in the you. chat. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, DNA, huge psyop. Mega psyop. Anything you can't see, anything you got to trust the fucking experts on. Yeah. 23 and me and uh, what ancestry? The, the... The, yeah. with, with the Mormonism 101, uh, Salt Lake City, and it all based out of uh, Utah. Roger that, Hawk. Hawk, you're going to finish yeah, for us. I'm going to keep going around. I'm going to go around once again. Uh, Danny, you did anything come up for you? Uh, no. Okay. Listen, I do. I did actually want to say because Alex was going over. I do want to have some stuff about Ukraine, but it's like a whole thing. But it's I'm not going to start it now. But I definitely want to go over because I have my own side. So I've been also studying the Ukraine thing, and I have some like uh, some information from like another side from like um because I've been following what happened with the Jewish community over there, and it's very interesting, very bizarre. Okay, you know, I I, I was re-listening to yesterday's show with uh, Greg Wyatt. And because I was distracted, I completely missed the details of the personal message he got from a woman who adopted a handicapped child and the handicapped child came from fucking Ukraine. And I I barely caught on to the, the, the importance of that. Now, she kicked the handicapped. She was in guilty relief saying, Greg, I'm so happy that you found a good group home for your son. Very, very, and I'm, and I love Greg for not hammering me back as I kind of chided him on how dangerous it is to give your child up. You're, you're fucked. You have a, a horribly injured child that you just can't handle anymore. What are you going to do? You don't have the money. What are you going to do? You're drowning. You need help with the child. And yet, giving the child over to an institution? Wow. Wow. Uh, So the child was handicapped. The woman feels the child was handicapped as a result. And something that she said really disturbed me. I have to do what's right for my biological, biological children. That's just evil. That's just your guilt That's just your guilt. That's evil. You accepted that child as your responsibility. You take that child and love them as your own. You're just making any bullshit excuse. Pardon me. I want to back it down. I know how incredibly stressful that can be. Okay? Still, look yourself in the mirror and don't make shit up. And don't use nasty cutthroat excuses like well this i'm gonna kick this child to the curb because they're not from my blood that's evil that's evil okay do not do not i know i johnny what am i gonna do young and old when you give up your family members I have this thing in my head. I don't even know how, how true this is. This is just what Anatoly tells me. Anatoly says, the beloved pets, we have this question. I have nothing to base this on. This is just Anatoly whispering to me. The beloved pets that you jealously steward, you'll see again. The ones that you kick to the curb and let go, you'll never see again. That's just Anatoly telling me that. Okay, I can't prove that biblically. I just have a sense. Okay, the same is true for 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 those that you love. Well, human sure. souls are judged differently, but you have got to to 
Jealously guard your stewardship responsibilities. Do not let fear, guilt, laziness, do not let any of those factors convince you to jettison your responsibility. Do not, do not, do not. Re-listening to the story that Greg recounted off of his phone from somebody that sent him a message was really upsetting to me because I was able to focus on it as opposed to running a show in the background. Ukraine, of all the fucking places. Are you kidding me? That's not, that's not being manipulated at all. Well, it was just as uh, heartbreaking as the story. I never, that was the first time I ever heard you tell that story of um, the teenager that you had uh, were fostering. Yeah, I was, I was working it, a summer in, in college. I was in college. I was working a summer at the March of Dimes. March of Dimes. And right. um, it was a. Hold, hold on. We, we got some. Anybody got to run? Yeah, I, I'm going to have to run, guys. Okay. Good to see you, Darnell. Thank you so see much. You, Darnell. See you, Darnell. Take All right, care. pal. Thank you. Thank you for the interruption. Okay. Yeah, no Irish good nights. Come here. Give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, pal. Great job. <laughs> see ya. Take care. Darnell. Stay in Take touch. Care. All right. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a camp. And uh, I was I was staff on the camp. Uh, I've, yeah, I've recounted the story a couple of times, but um, never again. Yeah. Didn't you also lose? Was it you lost your ring to Poseidon? Your wedding ring to Poseidon? It's completely helping... different. Well, it's related. It is related. Uh, I was the 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 wife asshole suckering me into. Hey, we're doing a. You know what? I think this was fr- through her fucking Catholic college. Uh, working with handicapped. I think it was physical therapy students working with handicapped on the beach and surfing and my asshole wife suckered me into not suckered me. She, she said, all right. Yeah. Okay, fine. And so I was, um, I was one of the meatheads holding the running the running the handicap really all ages on a surfboard. They lay on a surfboard. I run out on the surf and we turn them around and we, come back in and make sure they're stable and everything and they have a good time and and that's when Poseidon stole my wedding ring uh one of the few rare instances where my always fat swollen fingers shrunk to the point where my uh gold whatever soft gold white gold wedding ring slipped off my finger and I was I was free for a precious few days before I went and I bought something else. As a quick aside, as a quick aside, I've said many times, I'm going to recap it, that all that diamond shit, all of that is a massive sucker play. A massive sucker. You make payments for a fucking ring and and I'm very pleased with what the wife and I just do the silicone athlete things. It is just as, it's, it's the commitment. It's the commitment. Okay, the very first one I saw, I was like, what the fuck is it? Did you get that out of a Cracker Jack box? What are you, a clown? Do you, do you not care about your wife, not love your wife? I've radically changed. Now that I know what a fucking bullshit game it is to make you pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a wedding band and a wedding ring and, a, and, and diamond studded and all that shit, no. Uh, and, and you know, the best part about it is uh, I, I go on and I go and, and, and I get, you know, 20, 25, $30 tops and I got like, 20 of the damn things and, and I just whatever I'm in the mood for well actually whatever my whatever depending how swollen my fucking hands are based on the supposed Raynaud syndrome all the all the uh, vaccine injury I deal with but uh anyway yeah thank you Hawkeye for distracting me even more all right and uh let's go around finish up go around the horn uh Bill yeah uh <laughs> thanks <laughs> um a lot of good stuff today. I don't want to get into my stuff. There's just too much. I've got too much going. I've got the um, book review coming out of Romans of Mass Destruction. Uh, anticipately waiting for the sequel to that. I know it'll probably be a while, but uh, that, that book was so important 
people need to know the history of the brutal, murderous scum, you know, from Vlad the Impaler to uh, the Medici's. And I don't want to get into it. There's just, it's too much. Uh, so I'll be bringing that out this week. Um, I just finished a, a biography, a mini biography of a well-known uh, musician. And uh, one of the things I wanted to bring out was the, um, uh, I sent you the thing on the, um, um, the, the Jesuit theater of uh, everybody's thinking now that China has taken over Hollywood and China has not taken over Hollywood. It's been the Jesuits all the time. And they're using China now as a distraction because I think they're hearing us. I think we've been through Hawkeye, through me, through you, Johnny, and everybody else in the team. We have been hammering away about how the Jesuits own and run Hollywood. Now there's a campaign out there to distract you away from that. No, it's not the Jesuits. It's China. And I looked up the guy they interview in this movie. He's a well-known director. He's done like Looper. And he did the third installment of what? Iron Man. And uh, he also did one on called the Vatican tapes. And I thought that movie was kind of interesting. I have never heard of it. And there is a scene in, in that movie where the, ch the, priests are coming down the hallway and the kids are scattering and trying to hide from the, from the priest. And I'm going, gee, yeah, but I, it's all blown covers cover anyway, but I thought that was an, you know, interesting. And I have a few other things, but uh, that it'll keep, I think what we brought out today was really, really good. It's going to look good on the thumbnail and uh, so keep watching for that. I'll be sending that right after the show. So thanks, guys. Um, it's a good show. And I'll just turn it back over to my co-host, Johnny. Sumichi. All right, pal. Thanks. Keep up the good work. And anything that you put out, obviously, I will, as I've been, as I can, I will continue to immediately post on any hub that uh, that'll take it. So appreciate you. Love you, brother. And um uh, and we'll finally close with uh, the hawk. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hit the mute one. No, I'm good. That's good. I'll, uh, I'll. It's so brilliant being with you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Just, re just, just, just recognizing it. Four years in. Four years into this narrative. I think it, it, it was uh, back in the back in the day. Um. I'd actually, I, uh, the, it, the irony, I believe it was 11 March or 12 March that I, I, I walked away from the team and, uh, and didn't reconnect for an, a number of months. And it's funny, my, 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 I, I thought like, talk about ego. I thought my, did my departure cause <laughs> lockdown? <laughs> talk many... about, but, but the fact four, four, four years ago, four years ago. And um, and I think of all the of the team briefs that that occurred during the initial lockdown, and then as the stranglehold continued longer than what two to th the first two to three weeks, and as the the narrative slowly changed this way and that and so on. But what a f the fact four four years later, here we are, four years. You know, um, just four like Bill close. says, just like four Bill years. says, how many times? Has the hawk said? We are we are making waves. We don't we. I I barely break a hundred views on shit shoot, and I'm always ratioed from the fucking Nazi Catholic troll scum. With with more thumbs down than thumbs up, on a, just encouraging me to delete that channel entirely, and yet, uh the hawk says what what bill says is that's that we're making waves make your own decision on that that they directly respond to leave my wife's name out your fucking mouth <laughs> out your that mouth. they, they, that they directly my wife's respond name out to. your mouth um 
March 11th, 2011, Fukushima. Professionally black Whitney Young drowns on March 11th, 1971 while swimming in Nigeria. Why the fuck did I mention that? Okay, that's a March 11th. Oh, here's one for you, Johnny. Uh, Harold Sohausen. Now, you may not know who he was. He was the assistant to Luke Montagnier. He was born on March 11th. Uh, Sohausen was born on March 11th, 1936. Allegedly, in 1983, they both alleged uh, they isolated HIV, even though nobody has ever been able to replicate the results. <clears throat> um Uh, give me, give me, okay. I can just imagine how uh, much. Harold, okay, which is the German pronunciation of Harold. So, Z or Z U R Hausen, H A U S E N, I believe. He was born in March 11th, 1936. I believe he's still alive. So, that would make him 88 years old if he's still with us. Uh, he and Luc Montagnier allegedly isolated HIV in 1983, the purported virus that's supposed to cause a condition called AIDS. Uh, let's see here. And I, I know we've been over, you've been on for two, two and a half hours. May I mention one last thing before I finish? Uh, give me that off? spelling one more time, George. Harold H A R. A L E so Z or Z U R uh Hausen H A U S E N. Okay. Okay. All right, finally got it. All right, go ahead and on with your point and let me validate. Yes, well done, George. Extending George 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 channeling the hawk. Born 11 March 1936. Good for you. I will add that to my okay. 11th. Which, wait, let me finish on my 11 March folder before you finish, before you do your rest. What else do I have? Um, first recorded example of Spanish flu hoax. 11 March 1918, Fort Riley, Kansas, where they also, just by coincidence, debuted radio. Um, I've got, wait a minute. I've got a full just, folder on this. Just three Bergoglio years after. elected Pope, Pope on 13 March in 2013. Did I beat the Hawk on that? And Hawk, I was going to say that. No, um, no, we, this, this is from our, our homework together. We were sharing this back. And right, forth. right, right. I know these Love are it. my notes from the Hawk and yeah. Rupert Murdoch, uh, born on 11 March, 1931. Yes. Yes. So I'm just regurgitating my, my notes with the Hawk. Was that Rupert? I like him blonde. Yes, Murdoch? Rupert, Knight of Malta. I like him blonde. I like order some of, blonde. Or, or, order of Saint uh, Saint Sylvester. Order Saint of Saint. Yes, yes. Thank you. Well done, Hawk. That's Saint I save everything, don't I? Okay, uh, George, finish up, and then uh, we're good. Okay, so I, I really wish I would was here at the beginning, but I uh, I guess a few days ago, the actor and singer Steve Lawrence died. Uh, born Sydney Leibovitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, I added him because of your notes. Let me let me go ahead and go ahead. G give me on give, give me on Steve Lawrence and St oh, St okay, uh, Stanley so will... Leibovitz. Stanley Steve Lawrence Leibovitz. Okay, so his uh, I met him for a couple reasons. One, he died a few days ago. Two, he was butt buddies with Old Blue Eyes, Frank Sinatra. And I, no, 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 no. Be careful with your language because uh, a butt buddy, we're going to go ahead and say, is like a real uh, homosexual. And I don't uh, doubt that uh, that Sinatra did whatever he wanted to, but uh, we don't know for friend, sure friend. that it actually was like Cary Grant, Randolph Scott, butt buddies were really, truly butt buddies. Okay. Yeah, so, he did it. it he did it his way. Right. Uh, okay. Go ahead, George, finish. So, I, I mean, Fred. Fred, he's also pals with um, King Kelly, you know, the dancer. Okay, so why do I bring him up? Oh, no. And here, here's the punchline. His son, Michael Lawrence, died in the age of 86, in the, or in the year 1986, at the age of 23, from an undiagnosed heart condition, or hitherto hidden heart, heart condition. 
Yes. Um, so maybe there's drugs. Steve Lawrence, another high profile entertainment Jew who was also tribally married to a Turkish Jew. Edith Gormazano changed her stage name to Edie Gourmet. You know, uh, Johnny, uh, earlier this week, you brought up about Michael Landon, actor Michael Landon. And uh, I found in Wikipedia, uh, I, I knew of his son, Michael Landon Jr., was also a movie producer. And the two first two movies he ever did was based on the life of his father. And he, he hired um, uh, John Schneider, uh, Bo Duke from uh, Dukes of Hazard to play uh, his father, Michael Landon. And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. He did two different biographies on his dad, two separate. That's at least that's what's listed on Wikipedia and IMDb. Uh, and supposedly Michael Landon Jr. is also uh, supposed to be a born again Christian also and stuff. So, well, it's a stark contrast to his brother, Christopher Landon, who is right. uh, homosexual and, and yeah. uh, just really out there. So I added Steve Lawrence for better or for worse to the sacrifice child club to include Doug Hagman, Sylvester Stallone, Bill Cosby, Greg Laurie, Joe Biden, Rick Warren, Andy Reid, John Travolta, Keanu Reeves, Mike Tyson, George Herbert Walker Bush, John Corson, Eric Clapton, Gary Sinise, Robert Plant, Johnny Carson, Carol Burnett, Lou Costello, Vince Neal of Motley Crue, and James Arness. You'll have to add uh, Zach Schneider as well. There's a daughter in there that he that had died a suicide. I'm never getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Because I had shit to talk about on Jack, Zack Snyder, too. Okay, save it for it's next because time. Because we love you, Johnny. No, no. Fuck all of you. No. And now I have to go and... Now I got to go dig up what I had on... Okay, right, right. So I had... Wow. Like, buried. So I, I, I sent to you guys... It's my fault. It's my fault. I, I, I sent this to you. Um, Zack Snyder on with Joe the Toe Rogan. Just as proof of, okay, so Snyder, supposedly comics are his religion, atheist, right? And yet he married his wife in Episcopal Church. Um, Snyder on with Joe the Toe, bragging about how he flaunts canon. How anything that is accepted and cherished about a comic book hero, he immediately gravitates to fuck up. Batman. Like, people are always like, well, Batman. Okay, so now, Batman created by two Jews and now thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly owned by the Roman Catholic Church. The caped crusader who never kills anybody. I, Batman can't kill. Right. So Batman can't kill is canon. And I'm like, okay, well, the first thing I want to do when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing? Did you pull that out of a dumpster before you walked into the fucking studio? Are you kidding me? You arrogant ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what happens. And they go like, well, don't put him in a situation where he has to like, get. Peered, peered, peered like that more than once. Yeah, he looks like he looks like he uh, just got out of a watermelon patch. Listen, I'm I'm all for being number one, being comfortable. Number two, bucking trends. Number three, not wearing a tie, especially when my partner says it's actually a big dick that you put around your neck. Uh, okay, so I did another excuse not to wear a tie. That's just that's the that's a, a different. That's an extreme. That's 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 just. I am the great Zack Snyder. I will pull a shirt out of a dumpster and you'll go, wow, that's amazing. Um, there's, there's masculinity, just like the, uh, the, is that, the three days. Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Chris Williamson. Is that what it is? He's being yeah. a real man there because he's he's not a fat slob. He's showing you off, showing you off I, what, I, you know, how. I, I care by not caring. Right. Yeah. Also, too, uh, in relation to Batman, was create. you said he was created by two Jews? Yes. 
uh, Bob was it Bob Kane and who was the other guy? Are you gonna make me look this up? Yeah, because uh, I heard one of them uh, died broke. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I, um, yeah. Bill Finger is the guy that got screwed. Yeah, because um, later on, because Bill Finger got the finger. Milton or, yeah. Bill Finger. Right, because for the longest time, if you look at early episodes, uh, early episodes of the original show in the comic books, it all says created by Bill King. Right, whose whose original name was Khan. Khan, okay, yeah. And he changed it to Kane. Right. So the uh, no mention of the other guy that died broke. Yes, Bill Finger got the finger. About right. Right. And uh, Zack Snyder, just another arrogant ass. His movies are unimpressive. His latest uh, Rebel Moon is being savaged by the geek critiquers. Yeah, I like the original. I have the original Batman with Bruce Wayne. I mean, with... Uh, uh, but- uh, Burt Ward and topics and like it's troubling West. portrayal of the oh. right guys guys like my boy uh Dispru is you know oh and look it starts off is what surprise surprise another I'll kick your Rebel ass Moon reviews female are out and they're about vomit. as impressed with it as I was with the trailer I found her Scargiver. all I'm saying is if you want to act as an action hero you should at least be able to beat me up the are limited <laughs> love this guy uh all right. As okay, so let me let me end the show for the fifteenth fucking time uh and go around and make sure. You better wake your ass up. <laughs> wake hey, your hey, ass JP. up, man. <laughs> I love that guy too. <clears throat> All right. Um oh just open up the floor. Anything, anyone? Speak up or hold your peace. Listen, I'm what I'm going to do is, as you've seen, all the fucking homework you've given me, all the stuff in my dossier that never got touched today. We'll see how the days, we'll see how the week goes. We'll see how the week plays out. I'm feeling roughly maybe two team briefs and uh, three solos. Three solos, two team briefs. That's if uh, Zeus, and I'm pleased, tongue in cheek, uh, doesn't intervene and stop me from doing a show. I really need to take a day off and catch up with my homework. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. One day at a time. Um, well, excuse me, Johnny. I, I have an addendum regarding Bob King, one of the names of Batman. That is material of conversation. Go okay, ahead, his man. his art collection is housed in New York City in two places. In New York City, okay, I just pulled it up. Sorry. Um, the Museum of Modern Art, the Museum of, of three places, I'm sorry. The Museum of Modern Art, the Whitney Museum of American Art, and St. John's University, which is a Catholic institution in, in New York City. So, um, he's Jewish, as you said, his background is keen, but why would a Catholic university? houses our art collection all right um give me that again bob kane all right was he really that successful in his day where he had a bunch of extra fucking money and then collected art art collection saint john's yes uh the museum of modern art um okay i the Museum of Modern Art, St. John's University, and another place in, in New York City. Um, okay. Yeah, St. John's well, I, University. Okay, yes. All right. Here, here. Um, you know, interestingly enough, and I'm, I'm trying to look this up, Stan Lee... Stan Lee Leibowitz 
Also, there's... He defrauded his Jewish partner? Right? What's... Now I want to do... God bless me. Stan Lee Leibowitz. Fucking Microsoft. Um, and what was his partner that he screwed? Tell me I don't have it at my fingertips. Jack now I'm going to have to take it. Say again? Was it Jack Kirby? Was Jack Kirby the one that he, that he screwed over? Uh, I'm... Oh, Jack video. Kirby. Jack Kirby was the artist. Yeah, no, I think there was a co-creator, and I don't think it was Kirby, because Kirby's still pretty mm. well known. There was a co-creator with Leibowitz who got screwed out of notoriety. Here now, the the, the Jesuits at Dizshi were pumping him every single movie. They were just propping him up and giving him a cameo every single movie and meanwhile he's another one that pulled a you know he pulled a fucking uh uh gates gates did the same thing and and and, and fucked his partner yeah um all right paul I, allen? I, was, saying, was that paul was that paul allen i don't know pal i i i can't it's not it's not coming coming to me easily oh, okay so one of his co-creators uh for uh one of Stanley's partner was Steve Ditko, who lived from the 2nd of November, 1922nd, died on June 29th, 2018. Um, he was co-creator of the superhero Spider-Man and co-creator of Doctor Strange. Also, he was responsible for the partial creation of Iron Man. Didn't know that. Now, his background was Catholic, Byzantine Catholic, which is like a a different sect of the Catholic Church. Okay, pal. So, yeah, I, I can't, I can't tell you. the The name is just floating around back there. It's by the, by the way, Stanley Martin Lieber, not Leibowitz. Close enough. His birth name. Um. Anyway, okay. I'll have it for next time. Um. Are 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 we good now that I'm well over time, and now I'm guaranteed to have to. Pair this down for shit shoot. Everybody good? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're good. good. We're good. All, All right, guys. So much. Be, be, be strong and courageous. Love you all. Resistance is rising. Thank you. See you this week. See you. See you guys. See you.